everybody, my name is Frankie McDonald. You're listening to Simcast with Chrissy Meyer. I'm Frankie McDonald. Uh, I don't know if this is real, but thanks for the 10 bucks, Sound Horizons. Could you shout out to my friend Nick Gurr? Oh, I, okay. You got me. He's a huge f- fan of yours since the Stern days. Nicholas Gurr. Yeah. The Star Wars Lego set Death Star. But can you chug a sparkling water and not burp? Oh my gosh. Uh, what do I do? What's up? Bro, so Chrissy has been obviously all over the news. She was on Newsmax last, last night with Eric Bowling. And uh Newsmax actually beat CNN in ratings. Holy shit. Right? Chrissy Mayer's boobs responds, we start showing up on Newsmax. Newsmax beats CNN in ratings. Coincidence? Eric Bowling <laughs> replies to Chrissy Mayer's <laughs> boobs thinking that it's Chrissy Mayer. Says, no coincidence. P.S. You were great last night. <laughs> now she does a thing called Simcast. Go Chrissy. Team Chrissy. Hello. Welcome to nature. Everything is free. Forget the gym. Why go to the gym when you can spend time in nature? Here in nature, you can get some exercise by climbing on these rocks and hopefully not breaking an ankle in the process. I mean, if you do crack your head, that's okay. A wild animal will just eat you. Also in nature, you can find a nice place where you can sit your little butt down and meditate. And wonder, and ask God why your life is going to shit. Hopefully you can manifest some good stuff. Lord, please help me. Nature is a great place where you can go out and realize things could be worse. You could be living in the woods where you could get eaten. Fucking wild animal. Now is that what you want? Hey, Chrissy, you know what I'm going to do? I'm and she couldn't get out and i would just rub her face and say i'll always come back for you i'll always come back for you i'll always come back for you and whenever i come back she i think i need to so, see what his know, penis yeah, looks like back. It's long and skinny. It's nothing to write home about. Oh, no. It looks exactly like him. He's shown multiple news photos. Drew has seen it. They probably have a saved version of it on the computer there. I've seen it. Just a little little metal rod. He's so proud of his skinny, long (laughs) penis. Yeah. Oh, no. But, like, so I told him. That's all you have going for you. What are you going to do? Okay. Gotta work I told them though, got. I was like, look, it means you probably like being peed on, dude. And when I get kind of turned, when I'm like four out of ten drunk or higher, I'll eat ass for days. I don't really do it sober, and it's because I don't think about it. But like when I'm drunk, right. I just don't think about it. I see it, I'm looking at it. I'm like, ah. like when I'm drunk, though, I'm like, yeah, like that's that's when your real that's when your inhibitions are lowered and the real Cody comes out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> He's ass eating Cody, dude. I would love to eat some ass right now, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of <laughs> I can't, I can't get it. Um.
Hello, hello. It is Sunday, June 4th. It is the first Simpcast of Alphabet Mafia Month. Hope everyone ha is having a wonderful Alphabet Mafia Month so far. Welcome to Simpcast. This is Keith Olbermann's favorite podcast. Uh, before I bring in our lovely panel, uh, I got a few stand-up dates to promote. Yes, I do. Wow. What a day. What a day I've had. What a couple of months that I've had. Can I just not go viral for one week? Is that so much to ask? That's my Christmas wish. Okay. I'm just kidding. I love it. I love it. Uh, I will be in Jersey Saturday, July 8th at Tiff's Ale House. This is in Morris Plains, New Jersey. This is a great area of New Jersey. Let me tell you. This bar has very stiff drinks. Uh, and that's about it. And cool people. And that's good enough for me. Get your tickets now. Nice and early. 7 o'clock show. Then I'm headlining in Richmond, Virginia, Wednesday, August 9th at the Sandman Comedy Club. 7.30 show. Um, the website for the Sandman is a little bit funky right now. So it looks like it's sold out. Uh, but they are fixing the glitch. They will let me know ASAP when it is fixed. Um, so you will be able to still get tickets for this show. Have Do not fret. Don't fret. No fretting on my account. Uh, then I'll be going to Anime Matsuri in August. Uh, Simcast will be at this convention. We'll have a booth. We'll have a panel. August 10th through August 13th at the George R. Brown Convention Center. I have never been to Houston. I've never been to Anime Matsuri. I'm very excited to check it out. We'll be doing some cosplaying. And I will be headlining that same weekend in Houston at the Secret Group Friday, August 11th. Uh, Lila Hart will be opening for me. This is going to be a great show. Nice and early, 7 o'clock. It's good to have something to do after the convention closes. Uh, it'll be that Friday. If you know you're going to be at anime, get your tickets now for my comedy show. We'll freaking hang out. We'll make it a thing. Yeah, that's right. For tickets, go to christinemayer.com. And as always, if you live in a state where I haven't performed in a while... Uh, tweet at me, tweet at the venues that you like, call the venues that you like. It doesn't necessarily have to be a comedy club. I've performed at an Elks Lodge, okay? I will perform wherever you will have me. I am not picky. I, I just want to get with the people. So there. Thank you. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. The absolute. I don't say it enough. I love you guys. You know who I also love? Uh, this panel of hot ladies that I'm about to bring in. I like this background music. Yes, you know her. <laughs> you love her. She is the hostess of the Steel Toe Morning Show. April Imholt. Yes, my Hello. she's holding holding it down uh, for the blondes today. Yes, also, I am. Uh, she's a streamer. She's a gamer. She's a carnivore. She's a triple threat. It's Melanie Mack. Yay! I thought you were describing April more. I'm like, wow, I have a <laughs> lot in common with her. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I could be I could be introing anyone. She's tattooed. Yeah, you guys both have tats. Yes, we do. We're basically best friends now. I didn't even well know me. you had basically a whole arm sleeve happening over there. About a half, yeah. She's got a lot more than I have going on for <laughs> sure, but they're fun. It's the same arm too. Yep. Yep. Which arm is that? That's the, the, left, the left arm. The left arm. Is it like in the 90s when you'd have your left ear pierced? That would mean that you were gay? Is there some I'm sort so of... Gay. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely not gay. <laughs> <laughs> we're not sure yet. <laughs> Last but not least, no tattoos. But she, what she lacks in tattoos, she makes up for in boobs. Leanne Starr, hello and welcome. Hi. Yes, How's it hanging? Yes. The nicest Good boobs. To, to you. The nicest <laughs> boobs, always. Um... I missed you guys. What is popping? What is popping in everyone's Ooh. world? Oh, man. Trying Nothing. to keep up with you and all the trouble you're causing, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't know what I happened. was told there'd be fried chicken today, so... I thought yeah, about that beforehand. I almost sent Aaron out for some fried chicken. That would have been it. amazing. <laughs> of all the things to, to get up in arms about, a freaking fried chicken joke is you know what it is because that's the easiest the thing to bitch about nobody wants to get into fixing inflation nobody wants to get into no. 114 billion to ukraine nobody wants to get into oh. the border no let's 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 skewer chrissy mayer over a chicken joke let's do that I 
I listened to that joke, I think, four more times today, trying to understand where the outrage was coming from because I listened to it and I'm like, that's all you've got? <laughs> like, that's, that's what you're going to cry safe, over? That's a pretty safe racial joke, uh, yes. all things considered. <laughs> I know, really fried like chicken's delicious. I don't yes. know what it is. It is. Like, it's so the best. <laughs> um, I liked how Brittany Venti put it the most is like Asians like rice, you know, Indians like curry, and then, you know, certain people like chicken. Big deal. Yeah, what is yeah. wrong with people liking things? I don't know. Why it's is illegal pointing, now. Why is pointing that out um so crazy? I, I was so shocked. Like we this segment was taped uh Wednesday. It was supposed to air Wednesday, but it was pushed to pushed to Thursday as, as these things happen when I'm, when something more important is in the news, they go, "All right, we'll push it off. It'll happen later or never, who the fuck knows." And I was like, "Great." And I remember I like I was just so excited to do it. I was I had prepared uh, jokes and and quips for like several different um, articles. We only got to that one, and I was like thinking, "Oh man, I had so much to say about this other thing." And they're like, "Don't mm -hmm. worry, we're gonna cover it later. You'll get to say those jokes at some point." And I was like, "Cool," and I remember I, I was just I felt sort of like rushed overall. Like my mate had to I had run in at the kind of late notice, hair makeup. You're busy. And uh, and if anything, I was like a little bit annoyed at myself because I, it was like a half joke. It was like a throwaway yeah. line. That's what I um, thought it was. <laughs> I really was <laughs> trying because, of course, this is what they love to do is clip you out of context to try to mm -hmm. cancel you. And I want to try to find uh, the full clip from Newsmax because it aired on Thursday at around 8.45. And the, the topic was why are conservatives upset with chick-fil-a you know should conservatives get ready to boycott chick-fil-a after this wave of boycotting target boycotting bud light you know should we be worried about chick-fil-a because i think the deal was they had just hired a new vp who was going mm -hmm. to have a focus on like dei and esg and all oh, that yeah so so i was trying and again my only regret is that I didn't like do the joke harder, that I didn't write it out better, that I didn't, that it wasn't properly formed. Right. And a clear. It was Props. like, a, it was truly half assed. I still stand by it. This is not an apology. I will never apologize for a joke. Oh. If you're sitting there waiting for me to apologize for a joke, ladies, and by ladies, I mean Keith Olbermann, uh, don't hold your breath. It's not going to happen. Uh, my only regret is that I, did, I didn't go a little like, that it wasn't uh, better written, you know? Well, and he's the only one I saw outraged over it. I think he just needs something to stay in the circles a little bit. I don't know what he's doing now. I don't think he's working for anybody but himself, right? Dude, he's fucking insane. He says weird shit. All he's just always yeah. mad. He's just—it's hilarious. He's like never happy and positive. He's all—he's just an angry person he's an about angry everything. Elf. Yeah. It's he's so an funny though because I can't take him serious. I'm like trying not to laugh now like she's talking about it because he's so serious but it's so stupid that I can't take it serious. Like you're really that mad dude. Like it's not that's, that big a deal. <laughs> like that's seriously. Why that's why I don't think he's mad. I think Chrissy's so hot right now. She's everywhere. She's getting in yeah. trouble for everything and he wants to jump on the Chrissy bandwagon yeah. and then kind of like Frank said today <laughs> he's not going to fuck you. Okay. I, I like no. that. I think Frank retweeted something of his today and said, dude, she's not going to fuck you. He's <laughs> lazy. He could have found something better to be mad at that you've yeah. said, I'm sure. He just didn't even look. He just took that. Like, how oh, lazy. It's an, it's an easy virtue signal, I guess. And <laughs> like, uh, I guess I should be hours. flattered if I'm the thing that Keith Olbermann is talking about to try to be relevant. Um, so here's where it all started. This is a, I don't know who this is. They clipped this uh god i'm sure yeah, all right i'll play it <laughs> okay i'll play it um it's just 13 seconds of uh of, this is what i'm talking about it's pretty ridiculous uh I had no to, to just okay. assume that chick-fil-a i mean you know i'm hesitant to make a fried chicken joke but they sell fried chicken i don't know how much more inclusive we can get here <laughs> <laughs> i think that yeah. was smooth i was think that really was great smooth. that was very yes. smooth that was, and you're right, it was just something you probably thought was a throwaway and you were on to your next thing. I don't see what the I, offense there. I would. I wish I have, would have properly set it up because what I was trying, which I, now I realize I didn't set this up properly, you know, the, the, the pre-outrage or the pre-concern is over like, ooh, should conservatives get ready to, to, to boycott Chick-fil-A because of the, the executive? So I'm, 
I was like sort of trying to do this position of like, oh, I'm an executive for Chick-fil-A and, and our problem is we need to more be more diverse and inclusive. And like, and I'm like, well, how do, why do we have to be more diverse and inclusive? We already sell fried chicken. Like I didn't <laughs> make you. it clear that it was from the perspective of the executive. Right. Doesn't everyone it, love fried chicken? <laughs> and everyone does like love fried chicken. And and many people have been sharing a very popular uh, bit from Chappelle where he was going off about like he, he was about to sit down to order at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I think he was in the South. And the guy was like, let me guess, chicken. And he was like, yeah, yeah you're That's right. Because so yes. it's delicious. Yeah. yeah. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. It's not like you said a watermelon smoothie or something. <laughs> right. I just want to stand out front. With like, Even though that would be delicious too. Everyone feels very comfortable <laughs> saying that white people love potato salad that's unseasoned. People love saying, oh, God. oh she's a Ew. Karen. Oh, yeah. you're seasoning white anything. Thing. It doesn't yeah. matter. We're all hey, I'm like white, half white, and I hate mayonnaise. Okay, I fucking hate it. Oh, I know I white people like it, but I do not. I hate it. So I'm a huge fan. And, oh, I hate it. and for him to say overtly and proudly racist would would say that he understands my intent. Like, how right. could you possibly, from 13 seconds, know <laughs> the context and the intent? I think he just needed a new hot black joke that went yeah. wrong in his eyes. I feel like people so like that don't have that black hair makeup was done for this viral clip. <laughs> Looks like, amazing. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Maureen at Newsmax. She does such good makeup, hair mm -hmm. makeup. She the hair looks incredible. Oh, uh, you look like a Chick fil A like executive. You could be you could one. Be. Oh, you just wow. need the shirt. <laughs> oh my God. And then, of course, I see that. I go, oh shit. It's Keith Olbermann. And mm -hmm. Frank's like, Frank immediately starts cracking up. He's like, it's Keith Olbermann. You're fine. <laughs> exactly. He's not really doing anything anymore. Pretty irrelevant. So if you're the one who keeps him going every day, I think I'd be honored. I don't so, even know who he is. He used to be a big deal like in the early aughts. I think yeah. he was the ESPN mm -hmm. sports commentator. Oh. Fired from that. I think he worked for Current TV. He was fired from that. Then he worked for MSNBC. He was fired from that. Yeah. <laughs> and if you Google... Uh, let me do this because I did this. I was trying to figure out like why is Keith Olbermann so triggered by me? Yeah, mm -hmm. I was like, let uh, me think about it from his perspective. I did a little research on him. I'm like, I don't know much about the man, but if you Google here, Keith Olbermann apologizes. Hmm. Look how much he said something racist, right? Look oh. how much comes up. Ninety eight thousand <laughs> results. Oh wow. Goodness. He apologizes for calling LSU's Angel Reese an effing idiot and classless for taunting an opposing team. Oh, what? no. And apologizes for, for the Angel Reese remarks. Keith, Ol Keith Olbermann apologizes for sexist tweet about the WBC. I don't even know what the WBC is. Oh, God. Uh, me either. Oh, it, I, hey, I don't know. I was trying to figure that out. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> apologize, apologize. On behalf of America, an apology. The resistance with Keith Olbermann. Here's another apology. Oh, no. Uh, Keith Olbermann apologizes for tweets. Apologizes biggest... for threatening a turkey hunter in Mississippi oh, who killed God. a rare white turkey. His biggest it was mistake. white. What's the problem? Yeah. I'm there. White. Oh, you know what he okay. did wrong? He apologized once, and now it has to be for everything. Oh, yeah. I... Keith Olbermann again. He's I a bitch. George W. Bush <laughs> apology. He's apologizing really? constantly. So I was like, he is triggered because comedians don't have to apologize for jokes because they're jokes. But since Keith has no sense of humor, he doesn't see it as jokes. He just thinks I'm just tearing around the internet being racist because he has like, no sense of humor. It's just like, oh, how is that such a burn? Oh. Oh, guess what? You like fried chicken. Huh? <laughs> Got me! <laughs> wow, that's so offensive. Oh, apologizes to viewers after making campaign donations to three Democratic candidates. He's so hypocritical. I feel like the last few times our show covered him, it is honestly just him making at-home videos of him just ranting yeah. in his hallway. He's always He's at always home raging. raging. Yes. Is he married? Is he gay? Married? Like... Oh man, either way, know. it could be a tra tragedy for the other person. 
I mean, I really want to know something serious, though. Like, I don't know if he'll see this, but do you have... I want to know if he has black friends. Not Don Lemon black, like real black. Hmm. Like, do you actually hang out with any black people? Because right. I do, and they don't care about shit like that at all. Exactly. Like, or is he one of, okay? Exactly. Or is he one of those guys that just says, oh, what? I have black friends? <laughs> like, Don Lemon doesn't count. Okay, other black people. Do you hang out with anyone that's really black? Because Don Lemon is not... He's Obama black, which is Doesn't not black. It's <laughs> white. Yeah, because I bet if he did have black friends, they'd be like, yeah, it's okay. We like chicken. Guess I what? Everyone none likes of my chicken. black friends get mad about any of this shit. They're, it's like pathetic to them because they're not like that. Like they got more other shit to worry about. Mm -hmm. Like, but I will tell you what black mothers do not like is that trans shit. They <laughs> oh, do not. They are not lying. <laughs> Yeah, Especially when you start like coming that. for their sons, they are not okay with that. So they're barking up the wrong tree with that shit too. We live like in like a, my response finally. Uh, I just want to come make sure I'm covering all these tweets. Dear Keith Olbermann, you foolish old boomer, you don't understand humor or reality. You gave me exactly what I wanted. Attention from a throwaway line. You've become predictable and a caricature of yourself wearing Trump derangement syndrome on your sleeve as blindly as companies throw rainbows into their logos for June. Put down the soy, find your balls, and become a man again. Then maybe we can have a conversation. Ratioed, like cause of death ratio on this. Oh. Um way more action in just a few hours and i'm not i rarely brag uh <laughs> just annihilated and of course no Easy. response to this at all from uh from keith but he does wait until the next morning when uh another large account you know tweeted or shared the uh the thing it's and not it, you no because he won't he won't respond to me, but if if someone agrees with him, then he'll engage with yeah. that person, which is what cowards do. He doesn't want to talk to you and have to be realistic and like no. acknowledge that what you did was probably not as offensive as he needs it to be for him. He just wants to talk to people who agree with him. Uh, yes. I get it. It's a lot easier to do than people who disagree with you, but less friction. Yeah. Has he ever and, had a conversation with anyone? Like an actual sitting there conversation? Because I've never seen it, but I don't know. He might do that. I don't know. And then he I don't ever see him talking to anyone. He's just always mad about something. He responds oh. to this, uh, you're an unfunny clown who just repeated a 150-year-old cliche about black people and fried chicken. <laughs> 150? F you. And I said, the difference between you and I is I'm trying to make people laugh, whereas you're genuinely angry and hateful. And when that hate slips out, you have to apologize because your mainstream <laughs> media gods have you by the balls. It must Someone suck to hates. have to apologize all the time, Keith. I really do pity you. You're trapped. You're trapped. Oh, no. He's okay. trapped. <clears throat> it's, it must oh, suck to not have reason. He's, he's calling me out for making a joke. Meanwhile, Ooh. this is from just a few years ago. Keith Olbermann ripped for calling Trump a whiny little Kunta Quinte. So my yeah. response to him was, "You're right, They're Keith Olbermann." Hypocrites. I should have just made a Kunta Quinte reference. Yeah. Did he I respond to that? No. Could have went hard in the paint, Chrissy. <sighs> I mean, <know>. Keith. <laughs> It's so weird. To There's me. nothing you can say to me that I haven't been saying to myself and trolls haven't been saying to me for years. So good luck trying to make <laughs> me feel bad. No, and like Leanne was saying too, like black people typically don't give a shit about that type no. of thing. Like any black friends I've had will ironically make that joke to each other while they're eating the fried chicken, you know, in front of you. They don't care. And thank God my token black friend, Brittany Venti, responds, Asians <laughs> like rice. Indians like curry, black people like fried chicken. So what? It's not racist. People can't pay for their groceries in America, but we're worried about a fried chicken joke. I'll let anyone make fried chicken jokes all day if it means we can afford to eat it. Yeah, okay. venti. Especially yep. like oh me, people who are allergy prone and have already have to pay a lot for raw ingredients to make fried chicken because she is allergic to corn. It's oh, like, damn. does he think black people are supposed to be ashamed because they like chicken? I mean, is that what they're getting at? Because what is the what is the problem? Like, you're supposed to be ashamed because you like fried chicken? I don't, I don't know. understand. No. Yeah. Oh. It's good. Who doesn't like it? Unless you're like, it on the lips, parent. lifetime on the hips. Do I have to feel bad? I don't know. Oh my god, I heard that. Eat all. <laughs> shameful. Fried chicken, shameful. Oh no. That's what all my friends with eating disorders would say in middle school. A minute on the lips, forever on the hips. I don't know where I heard that. It's not something I say, but it's like, yeah, do you want to try to shame me out of food? No. I will eat anything. 
Have you guys been sh- like, has anyone tried to publicly shame any of you guys for any take, whether it was something you tweeted or something you said on yes. the live stream? Oh, yeah, uh, just ignore it though. Yeah, that is the best way to go about it. I guess if I want to start here, like I got shamed on Twitter um, over the COVID lockdowns when they started removing nurses from like hospitals and stuff that weren't vaccinated. And, you know, so then they can't afford anything and everything else is shut down, too. So all I tweeted, I believe, was that I felt bad for these people that were losing their jobs. But then it came out that they were allowing other nurses who had been vaccinated but were sick with COVID to come in and work. You know, and I'm like, these people are losing their jobs and can't feed their families or pay for their homes. But you're allowing sick people to come in anyways. And I got railroaded for that shit. Like, there were so many, I don't know, lefties or something on Twitter that just attacked me over it. And I think Leanne's right. You just don't address it. You just, I just let it sit there, of course. But they attack you for like common sense things. Though. That's why I yeah. can't even take it serious. I'm like, I don't know if you're just trolling or like you can't. Everyone cannot be this stupid. I mean, I don't know. I think I give people too much credit still. I'm just hopeful, I guess, that they're not like yeah. that lacking in common sense, but I'm with you on that. I don't know anymore, man. I, I feel like know. I'm outraging people every week. Just like you were saying, Chrissy, I relate to that. It's like every week is like, oh, what did I say now? What did I make a video about now? And yeah. Yeah. I don't <laughs> oh, wait, I seen a video about you like a month ago, but like you're in a cult or something weird. I guess. Oh, but <laughs> a cult? You like joined a cult and cult didn't invite things? me? How rude. I don't know. Or maybe it was Q mom things. I don't know. It was something weird. And I was there's, like, what did she say? There's I don't know. Something. I didn't watch it because it didn't look that high quality. So yeah. I was like, probably stupid. I probably just made something up. I, mean, <laughs> I was like, a cult. <laughs> wow. But they didn't write a cult, so it could be anything. Everything is a cult. Now. Yeah. yeah. So it could be cult. anything. Fried chicken's a cult, too. Don't yeah. forget. I'm in I'll the butter in cult, so I would love to join the butter <laughs> cult. I died watching you bite a stick of butter the other day. <laughs> like I love butter too, but I could never like just bite the stick. <laughs> I don't know. There's how nothing you better it. than a big ass thick boy of butter on top oh. of a steak. Where you're like, hey. yeah, like you just you, you can slather it all over and then some. Yes, just like, slowly this, melt on it. This is decadence. <laughs> I would love, and I'm not. I'm not so bold to think that I can change uh, anything in a large way. But if in a small way, I, I mean, I think our culture overall is too triggerable and too easily like we need to toughen up as a society. And there's enough yeah. like real hard shit going on that mm. people in this country have to deal with. And everything from like, oh my god, am I gonna lose my job to AI in five years? To I can't pay groceries. Probably. To I mean, a huge, um, uh, like basically a huge segment of the population has to take out of their four hundred one k's, their savings, mm-hmm. like at least mm-hmm. half or something like that, just to yeah. pay, just to pay for their, just keep up with bills. And uh, so if if we cannot be triggered by chicken jokes, or if we can, if I can keep doing jokes, and eventually people go, oh. I guess she's still here. I guess we didn't cancel her. Well, either we keep getting triggered by dumb jokes or we get over it and focus on something else. If I can be a small part of toughening up people, uh, I'll feel I'll feel like I did my part. But we I need still- humor, man. If we don't have that, what the fuck do we have? Mm-hmm. It'll be so depressing. Like, oh, my God. I agree. I, it. I have been listening to a lot of old, like, best of Patrice O'Neill on the ONA, you know, clips the last just this whole weekend. And... We need people like him so much right now, like just his takes on everything and just, I don't know, we, we've we lost our sense of humor. And sometimes I think people need to be outraged by like your chicken joke, Chrissy, because then they don't have to look at all the really yeah. hard hitting issues. Uh, that Patrice we isn't on. here, so I have to tell the chicken jokes. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. Like, and I also feel like <laughs> I'm more up with a bull than someone like Patrice O'Neill, which more more people respected him. And I think we're, I don't know, he had just this star quality that, Mm-hmm. I wonder if like intimidated some people. Like I just feel like I, people weren't really fucking with him. Uh, he's always so, so good too. So he's funny. So good. Yeah. Yeah. He Although he died before a lot of this. Like, I do. Social media and cancel culture shit popped off. So. 
I do. Aaron had a good point to me the other day. I was talking to him about Patrice and some of his takes, and he said, you know, like if we have more people like him around, and so maybe Chrissy, that's the next you, you know, or you're the next I, him, whichever. I, would, I will never be as good as him, but if I can just, right. I can just <laughs> nobody, that's me. No, <laughs> but maybe all this stuff wouldn't get so out of hand, you know, like you just said, people are so much softer now and all that. Like maybe if we just have more people like him that can keep our heads on a little straighter and just be a little I light apart, like you know. There are so many hilarious comics out there. I would just love to see more of that, more of like pushing it mm -hmm. uh, in a public way and then not apologizing. Yep. Yeah, the apologizing gets you stuck because then it really is a slippery slope. You say you're sorry for one thing and they hold you accountable to that for the rest of forever. And like mm -hmm. now you have to be sorry every time. They never forget. Even when you say sorry, it doesn't matter. They just want to destroy people. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you say sorry or not. Yeah, it doesn't work on an individual no. level because the individual you apologize, they want you They want you destitute. They want you never yep. working yeah. again. It doesn't work on a larger, more cor corporate right. level. Look at the L.A. Dodgers. They yeah. they took out the lady, ladies of perpetual uh, taint sweat or whatever their name is, <laughs> and they then they took them back and they went back and forth a bunch of times and they pissed off both groups now. So and now it's like, well, you guys are just uh, just trying to do damage control. Where are your actual values? You shouldn't mm -hmm. be political. It's sports. It looks pathetic when they do that. Damage mm -hmm. control is pathetic. so pathetic because it's so fake. It's not genuine. You're just backtracking so you look like more of a coward. It's stupid. Yeah, very cowardly. No apologizing. No. I think a lot of it, too, for like people like Keith and your like situation need to feel like they have control over something, too. Because like you just said, like if they're making you apologize for something, obviously your apology is not legit mm. sincere probably so right. they knew that but they still made you do it right if if no one forced him to apologize all those times well then he never then why is he a, have a platform mm. he doesn't exactly. stand by what he says because he's gonna apologize the next day I'd, right. I'd rather pay attention to somebody who has conviction integrity means what they fucking say and if you're letting yourself be bullied by whoever you work for well then you're kind of a pussy that way too yeah, right. like, who are you we don't even know who you are really because you keep backtracking like are you that person or the other person like you don't know it's weird yeah there's that and then your words just don't mean anything mm -hmm. yeah and you're just a puppet mark of yeah. reality thanks for the super chat the people who can't take a chicken joke are the same people who can't handle a trump tweet yes mm -hmm. mean jokes and chicken <laughs> mean tweets and chicken jokes yeah uh, so what's up jr where did melanie get the giant stick of butter from uh actually anna that star wars girl she linked it to me from what is that store called like brookstone i think is <laughs> that, that's a the butter place. store they're selling sticks of butter She's in brookstone butter. wait it's, i think it's not brookstone it starts with a b it's <laughs> It's that they sell like clothes massage there. chairs and shit wait, no, they jigs. sell clothes there it's not brookstone it's it would be awesome if it was though really yeah. If Brookstone is selling giant sticks of butter, I feel like they're about to go out of business. It vibrates. Right I don't know. Cool. Why, I don't know. It is, is, it a, like, is, it, is it a back massager too? It's yeah. A, it's a. <laughs> it's like a clothing store that sells kind of like preppy clothes or like kind of like pack sun style mm. style clothes. Um, Hollister. No, it starts with a B. Buckle? I'm trying to find this. No. Buckle still exist? No way. <laughs> oh, Burlington. Wait, no, Burlington? it's not Burlington. No, it's not Burlington. I don't know. Brothers? Brothers? Brooks oh, Brothers? Okay. That's like super. I need to check. I need to check where she says that Brooke DM. Lane? I will find <laughs> it. I will find it right is it, now. Is it Zoomies? Can you imagine? all great Brothers had butter. Where is it? Where is it? Is it Wayfair? Is it eBay? <laughs> Oh wait, it's um, Urban Outfitters. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say if if that There's stick a of butter, <laughs> if okay, that, that stick of butter sense, is crying then. for help, then it's probably from Wayfair. Yeah. There's a yeah, there's a huge sixty-eight dollar and seventy-nine cent stick of butter on Wayfair. If you want one, nice. if you want. <laughs> that's twenty-five thousand dollars. What? Just, it's a Wayfair joke. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't have see what Brookstone need. even is. Oh, that's Home Essentials. Okay, so it's not. It's not that. It's Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Urban Outfitters. That makes so much sense because yeah. they sell a lot of goofy shit there. They do. Yeah. They sell a lot of weird clothes for sure. <laughs> I used to love Urban Outfitters. Like I, I thought I was so cool and different for shopping there. Yeah, I haven't Every seen it in a while. Like yeah. I don't know what they sell. I they don't sell records and like lame 
high waisted jeans that don't mm-hmm. fit now. Like <laughs> the mom jeans. Yeah, I, ten years ago, maybe it was you could get a cool shirt or mm-hmm. skirt there, but now it's like I yeah. think they're overpriced usually. Yeah, they were for sure. Yeah. Does anybody wear those mom jeans in this square here on this panel? I have them. I wear. I haven't worn them in a long time, but I was. But like with t-shirts or like a sluttier shirt because yeah. they're more baggy, so it was like right. evens it yeah. out. You could but, do the high waisted yeah. if you don't have a fupa or any kind of a stomach situation, and if they're if they're fitted. Mm, because if yeah. you have any kind of a stomach, the high waist it's out. Yeah, it, so it immediately turns into a will, mom jean. Mm, I've bad. never found a pair that like I feel comfortable in, or I just made me feel like I look it's hard. In them. It's really difficult. Yeah, so it's I, really I, hard. I don't like high rise. I like low rise, and it's what? like everybody gets so mad when it's like bring low Whoa. rise back. They're like no, and they want to like why execute you for saying they can that. still wear the high I, ones. I love you for that, Melanie. I am all about yeah. low rise. I think yeah. they're more comfortable, ironically, unless you're going for like that big ear look that day because yeah. you want to be chill that way i love low rise jeans love them. april and melanie you both embody i think the the cool girls in high school who were like pretty thin and they wore like low slung like hanging off their hips jeans oh, and the like a baby low tea or like was, a white yeah oh I'm, my like, goodness. Loving it. i was such a nerd well i was homeschooled mm-hmm. and i was such a nerd and it just going through an awkward phase i didn't glow up until a little later so i mean like compared to like everyone at church and stuff i was the the pretty girl but but compared to like regular people in high school i don't think i would have been the popular girl i, I don't think i was either i, was I wasn't either i was one of those kids that was super nerdy too and i was part of yeah. like way too many groups i was a band kid i dressed relatively conservative and all that and i just no, I, I wasn't that hot girl. I looked up to the hot girls, though. <laughs> yeah, I definitely was not but hot. But all that matters is that you're hot girls now. Serone Almighty, thanks for the super chat. I'm down 30 pounds and starting going carnivore. Butter is life. Yes, yes Serone. I'm so hey. proud of you. That's fantastic. It is great. Do you even guys know anyone like that? Some of it. We're even doing messy keto. Like, yes. having fried chicken, just get off bread. Messy. You know, like have a mozzarella stick, but get off sugar. Like I swear, for me, that made a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Man, I really give you guys a lot of credit if you can do that. I've never stuck to a diet like that, like getting rid of carbs or sugars. I suck. I love food. I eat it a lot. Um, I did know this couple. I was friends with like this middle aged couple who were overweight, and they went to like uh, is keto the all meat one? A carnivore. Carnivore. Yeah. Carnivore. Okay. Candy and white claw. That works for her. (laughs) These people that just eat bacon and shit like that, though, every day they actually lost like a lot of weight, oh, yeah. like a solid fifty pounds, and yep. I couldn't believe it. I don't know. I've it's... been carnivore for three and a half years. I love it. Really? I love it so much. I didn't even. I didn't do it to lose weight because I've just. I've never been overweight. I just did it mm-hmm. for like balancing my hormones, and then I have endometriosis, and so like I had all kinds of issues with that. And then that has just like my hormones are balanced i don't i'm I'm not in constant pain from all the endometriosis stuff so it's just like my quality of life is good when i stay on carnivore so i stick to it do you do you get all your nutrients that you need and stuff that sounds funny i guess but i mean beef beef is like the most nutrient dense food on the planet pretty much and so like most of what i eat is b vitamins Mm -hmm. (laughs) eat eggs yeah i love eggs eggs are delicious I love eggs too. Mm-hmm. Loving eggs. Okay. I would add eggs to almost anything. Ooh, BYB pie. Oh, what's up, BYB? Dream team top five. Christy, April, Keanu, Lindsay, Zia. Love the entire team too, though. Well, that's us. Thank He's you, BYB. Funny. He's uh, a good dude. Milano, dynamite, low rise all the way. Bring yes. back bring back the early aughts aesthetic. Bring it back. It's hard to find them. It Honestly. is. I just have to wear mine when I was from when I was younger. <laughs> I, I started I have my weird. high school clothes still. I still wear them. <laughs> I, I think they have them now though, like back in the stores, like the low rise stuff. We need them back. We do. It's really hard to find. A couple years ago, I saw yeah. them going away, and all the mom jeans came out. So I had one oh. serious favorite pair of jeans, and I bought like five pairs of them, and I'm still wearing nice. them. So that was my tactic. <laughs> Hollister probably has them. Ooh, Hollister. Yeah, but then do you get do you get shit on for wearing a 
high schoolers clothes you know, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. it's jeans <laughs> do they fit? Uh, whatever it takes to get you id'd at the bar again i that is what i think <laughs> I I like getting ID'd. Um, thank you everyone here is very important you, everyone watching is very important. We're Aww. all very important. Yeah. JR, uh, we already did that. Um, Dan Halen, thanks for the super chat. They hate the fried chicken thing because it was first put in a recipe book by an English white woman. Ooh. That's so. Terrible white women. K-Mac. For Simcast panel, the real question is KFC or Popeyes? What is the preference or some other place where you tried it before? Uh, I think Popeyes. Popeyes, for me. Popeyes yes. Popeyes all day. Their biscuits are on point. Yes. Um, their red beans and rice. Love yes. the red beans and rice. That yes. is the, the best item on the menu. I, I've gone there for just the red beans and rice before. And yep. I drink. <laughs> it's so good. I even will dabble in a Popeyes coleslaw. Oh. Um, Cool. I'm, risky, like, cold, uh, cold, adventurous. I'm actually not a KFC fan at all. Like, I just feel like there's so many superior. Like, we have, I would go like Popeyes, Chick fil A, and we have like a Purchase. slim here. I don't have a purchase. Ooh, oh, they have, have like these honey beans. biscuits that are good. Ooh. Okay. I feel like KFC is bottom rung, though, as far as chicken now. Mm -hmm. I know there's going to be a lot of hate for that somewhere. <laughs> but I agree, though. I, I, I agree. I've been at KFC in like yeah. years. They had their run. Mm -hmm. I'll say that. I don't even know what they have. 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 you guys ever had raisin canes? Yes, they're good. Um, well, they have those cheese curds. Oh, I love so those cheese curds. Good. So good. Yes, they have the raisin canes. I we didn't like it at all. It seemed really bland. I guess. Really? I yeah, well, ours I was really it up. Even, like Frank had it. He was like, "Oh, this is." Eh. <laughs> it was boring, right? I I yeah, feel like I, I just got like Schwann's frozen chicken tenders that would have been heated up with nothing on them. I don't know, it's like school school chicken. I yeah, guess. yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, thank you, Jacob Jacob Rotten, for the super chat. Uh, the Popeye chicken sandwich. Oh my god, so delicious! I've never had it. I have it, either. It's really it good. good. Yeah, I have had that before. It's very good. Weren't people killing each other over it? I think oh, so. Right. Actually, yeah. you know. that was. <laughs> So it has yeah. to be pretty good. But I never <laughs> had one. Another success story. I was 233, 35 pounds this time last year. 172 today? Nice. Wow. Ketosis That's good. Good, good, good job. Good job. Wow. Nice work. Wow. That's impressive. Good for you. Welcome to Chicken Chat, if you're just joining us. Chicken. Uh, tomorrow, <laughs> lad, Willie Mays in New Orleans has the best fried chicken anywhere. Have we been to Willie Mays, Frank? Oh, we gotta go next time we're there. I love. We don't have those here either. I'm out of all these fun ones. We'll put that on the list. Thank you, uh, Titty Twister. I agree <laughs> with April. I like the pussy, and I eat it. Good for you, Titty Twister. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh wow! Wow! Raider! Yeah. Oh my God, Raider! Thanks, buddy. Damn, Damn. Waller. I know. Dude, that buys a lot of fried chicken. It does. I would buy a lot. Sing this song. Finest in the YouTube world. There you go. mind and have some fun. We all want some more. Raider, Raider. Oh, banana, banana, Raider. Let's all send nudes to Raider. Ooh. Oh, jump. I think Andrew's right. I was thinking about Culver's. Cheese curds oh. at Raising Canes? You sure you weren't talking about Culver's? I think you're right, Andrew. I think I was talking about Culver's. You I don't know what either of those places are. <laughs> In a pinch, Culver's has good chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. In a pinch. Ooh. You know what I love? And here's why I'm uh, sad at the idea of having to boycott Chick-fil-A is their sauce. They're like... I know! I have it in tubes in the fridge. It's so I good. Do too. Uh, the Chick Fil A sauce and their Polynesian sauce, both oh. of them are in my fridge regularly. <laughs> I'll put that on anything. I'll eat I, that on anything. That Chick Fil A sauce. It's so good on breakfast food. If you ever make yourself like a like an egg and cheese sandwich or something, it's so good oh. on there. Or just even scrambled eggs. I'm a total whore for sauce. I love it. <laughs> good. Wait, are people boycotting them? Oh, Larry Sharp. Yeah. Is it the uh, What's the... up, Larry? 
Is that yeah. really weird? is that really Larry? Why is it a baseball player? Why would he have that picture? Larry? Oh, it is real. Okay. Oh, that's him throwing the first pitch. <laughs> wow, that looks like a real baseball player. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn, Larry. Like, <laughs> Damn, Larry. Damn, Larry. Damn, Larry. <laughs> Larry. Uh, Austin Johnson. Chrissy is my favorite transgender. Wow, thank you. I feel transgender. So However, I will also stem for Melanie. I have only eaten meat for the last two weeks and PR'd my bench today. What, Puerto Rican? What does PR'd mean? Uh, it's your. It's like your personal best. I'm. I'm trying. A yep. personal record, I think, is what I'm trying. Personal yeah. record. Yeah. Puerto Rican. My bench today. <laughs> Three seventy-five. Thanks for the motivation, girls. Wow. Yeah. Awesome Good job. You guys make me want to try that diet now, but I don't know how I can do that. I have I have very like I have the worst self control I guess when it comes to cutting out something really? like that. Really? So what oh, are your weaknesses? What are your things that you're like? Oh shit! I can't control myself when X thing is out. Breads, breads, pastas, uh, things like cookies. I love cookies. I mean, April, you don't like look like you need to lose no. weight at all. So. It's not about losing weight, but like Melanie said, maybe about like feeling better in mm -hmm. general. I guess. Um, so like I definitely up, get a lot. Achy and stuff. So, like, yeah. Spacey after you eat a bunch of carbs. I don't feel spacey, I guess. Tired, maybe. I get tired yeah. easy. Okay. Me too. Well, mm -hmm. then just try to cut maybe it like just little, I don't know. out if it's overwhelming. Like the one that you like less, try cutting that out. Start there. Yeah. That and then like things like coffee, like caffeine intake. I can't stop with the coffee every day. Me don't either. Have a lot of people I know who do carnivores still drink coffee, but I've. I'm really sensitive to caffeine, so I don't have it that often. So I don't, but I know a ton of carnivores who still have coffee and have no issues. Okay. Larry, Larry is, has been on keto for 13 years. Nice. Years, every day, happy and healthy. Oh. Yeah, that's awesome. Larry, that keto sounds like a good diet, though. Larry, gold pill. That's great. Meat. Yeah. Do you guys ever miss anything? I mean, sometimes I'll have a cheat day every once in a while. So it's not like I never, nice. ever have anything, but it's just not that common. Um, just like maybe a couple times a month on average, usually. You know it's helped me figure out like what I really love dessert wise. Um, whereas I used to just indiscriminately eat all kinds of desserts. Now it's like if it's coconut or macaroon or one of those like coconut tartufos, like coconut mm -hmm. ice cream covered in chocolate, like uh, I will do things to eat those. I oh, added God. um I added raw honey to my because I did it without honey and everything. But to, there's like in the carnivore community, there's a little bit of a debate between oh is honey still carnivore? I mean it comes from an animal, but I don't care. <laughs> I introduced it to see if I could if it if I still felt great on it. And yeah, no issues. I I'll have like a couple tablespoons of honey if I need something sweet, and I'll just put it in like Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. I love it. I like honey. I think it has a lot of good um, properties for like your immune system too. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, good it's for you. Great, it's it's the great. natural stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's great if you have a cough like I do right now. Uh, yeah, just that's back. true. Somebody get, oh. somebody get her some honey. What do I miss? <laughs> I also really miss uh, like nerd nerds, nerd clusters, nerd rope, anything oh, in the nerd. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Those are so good. Those cluster oh, things oh. are so good. They're See, very I, addicting. Like I the guts. Wanna... Gushers, any kind of gooey, like a red licorice or um, okay, red candy is oh my god, yeah. those but, nerd things are the devil, like they are very addictive. Those cluster things, yeah, they were like crack, it is like, like I crack. can't buy them anymore. I'm more so you know, without a thing, the less like once you get some distance from it, you're not like physically into it anymore. It's just like the like idea, you, it. you mm -hmm. miss it in your mind, but you're not like, okay, I have to have this. I really like chocolate things. I'm a huge sucker for chocolate, like or like things like French silk pie. Like I'm mm -hmm. such just an addict for that type of stuff. Pie. I don't know how to stop it. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's not good for you, but it sure tastes good. Yeah. What is French silk pie. <laughs> then there's like sentimental things. Like my mom used to make. <clears throat> like if it's easy and it takes five minutes to make, then that's probably one of my mom's staples. Like noodles and butter. Or a yes. possible pie, which was made in a blender. Mm -hmm. um, really? Chocolate mousse pie, which is she would buy a, um, a pie crust and then just fill it with chocolate pudding and throw whipped cream on Aww. it. That actually sounds good, though. Yeah. yeah. Anything with pie crust or, like, puff pastry, phyllo dough stuff. Oh. Ugh. So good. Right now. 
push ups, push ups, push ups. Mel, would eating only mana inflame endometriosis? I'm going to guess he meant meat. That's what people <laughs> tell you. And that's why it took me as long as it did to figure it out. Um, uh, Because they say that. But I saw in a keto group, honestly, a woman was like, oh, yeah, I went carnivore. It fixed my endometriosis issues, blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, I'll try it then. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, it worked for me. It just took like two months for my hormones to balance. And then... Yeah. And then one of my friends who has endometriosis, I told her, and she's like, then there's no way that's gonna work for me. Nothing works. And I'm like, just do it. And she did it. And then it only took her about a month or two. And she was like, oh my gosh, like um, my quality of life is so much better now. This is amazing. And um, I know multiple people I've seen in, in carnivore groups that, and multiple women who've, yeah, have had relief from just switching over to a carnivore based diet. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you don't Which eat any good, vegetables or anything? Just meat? No, no. I honestly find that I, because I try, people are like, oh, you need vegetables. Oh, it's okay. You can have some vegetables. That won't mess it up. Well, I, I was like, oh, let me introduce broccoli and cucumber. And so I was trying that. And mm -hmm. man, I had the worst flare up. I was like bloated. I had a very yeah. painful uh, yeah. experience with that with cramps and stuff. And then Aww. I was like, okay, well, I guess uh, that's just not it for me. It's not going to work yeah. for me. Um, so, so, do yeah. you take any like supplements to make up for what might be missing from like vegetables and stuff then? No, I don't take any supplements. Um, okay. Blood work, all, everything's Next in out. great ranges. Yeah, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Melanie, tell me, in these meat groups you're in, in these uh, keto <laughs> groups, are a lot of men showing pictures of their meat? No, Ooh. I'm in the female ones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They mistake in the group. So, They're like, "Oh, I thought this was different." I, mean, I like to, I like to be in the 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 women only ones. <laughs> That's good. That's probably for the best. Probably relate more, yeah. 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 Oh, mana from Exodus. Oh, You're I was gonna different. say, <laughs> mana is like because I was like, "What? You didn't mean actual mana? That's like heavenly bread, I think, like um, mm -hmm. sweet yeah. honey bread." Hi! Oh my god! Yeah, Hi, I have a shirt just like that. Do you? Are we matching? Oh my god, oh, I love it. We gotta wear that shirt. Oh my god. What's up, Zia? I missed you. I missed you too. I was just shoving food into my fat face. I tried two ice creams on the same <laughs> like stream. You just came from milking a cow in that shirt. <laughs> this is yeah, this is my farmer's daughter look. I'm gonna start a farmers only website. Oh, great. <laughs> you should sure? not. I think that's actually a thing. It's like a dating website for farmers. It is. Yeah, right? It is. When I was my in mom high tried school, to go on there. When I was in high school, my friends and I created like a collective farmers only account and screwed around with people. It was terrible. I wouldn't did, recommend that. Did you go on any dates with anyone? Like, did you actually get to meet up with anyone? Uh, no, we just set them up and then obviously it didn't work out. That's amazing. <laughs> this is a really dumb young person thing. I grew up in a farm town, so farmers only made sense. And mm. uh, not my right. brightest moment. Mm. <laughs> of course. Hey, we all do it. We all do it when we're young. I yeah, feel like yeah. talking about like carnivore and keto and then like and you do snack streams. And Zia. I do snack so streams every you, Sunday. Do you have any tips and tricks? Because like I see and I'm like, there's no way Zia's just eating all these snacks. Like, do you eat the snacks in lieu of like a meal? Or you kind try to of. I try so I don't I try to have like one or two bites or like a bite of everything. So I'm not like eating a bunch of it. I try not to. And then on snack days, I just kind of lower my calories quite a bit. Like on mm -hmm. on Sundays, this is what I had today. But I still have like half of okay, half of each mar marshmallow. So I had like a bite of each mm. marshmallow. Like I did eat the whole thing. I had a very small piece of this. This I looks like, two like what these. Lizzo eats in a day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but she finishes everything. Right. Yeah. I, mean, I had like three of these, so like I'll, I'll do that. And wow. then I'll try to lower my calories. Like before this, I ate like a thousand calories and I did legs. I can leg press 210 pounds now. We're getting up there. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Basically. Very That's amazing. Very awesome. Leg press Nick. It, it's, it, it's actually more than Nick. I can press more than Nick. Wow. <laughs> he said, I've never worked out. No, more than you weigh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. I've never, uh, I don't know how much I can lift. I should like, I just do F45 and like, uh, so I, I'm, I'm not doing like machines. I'm just, it's all like body weight and um, free weights and stuff. Like yep. biometric type stuff. But I want to do, they have a biometric, I think machine there where it scans you and it gives you not only your weight, but like 
it breaks down like the muscles and like every part of your body. Oh, like a uh, DMI scan? too. Yeah, yeah. Scan? Uh, mm -hmm. okay. that would I be did that cool. years ago. That is very informative because then you know exactly what to work on. For sure. First time I did it, it just printed out and it just said you're fucking fat, and I was like, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's Lizzo year. when it would be wake up Work call. out, eat less. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get off the nerd rope. Um, Move <laughs> off couch now. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew Thomas. Hey, beautiful ladies. For Pride Month, Zia and Ashton should get married and eat fried chicken. Ooh. I love Andrew. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty good time. No, you talk about fried chicken, you're going to get canceled, everyone. So. Okay. So. I need to know. I need to know why that's such an offensive joke. I don't understand. Do I don't either. Right? I don't know. I, I feel like I chummed the water for people who love to get offended. I think yes. I just totally baited them into it. it I has, think you needed it. Because, like, yeah. it's just so, so a certain demographic likes a certain type of food. I don't get why that's so bad. It's, it's like saying, oh, Indians like curry. Yeah, they like curry. Right. I don't know. Yeah. Like, what's... Yeah. What's wrong with that? Yeah, a I little. Saw, like I need I need someone to explain it to me. Like I need a black person to and I'm and I swear well, I'm not even well, saying this to be everyone likes fried chicken. There's yeah, fried I don't right know why. for yeah. every culture. And don't I wonder if, Oh, oh go ahead, sorry. sorry. Go ahead. I wonder okay. if it's only offensive when white people point out what somebody likes. Have you ever thought yes. about that? Good point. That's a <laughs> like, good oh, point. that yes. group seems to like that type of food. You're terrible mm -hmm. now. You're awful. You're racist. Yeah, yep, that's like saying like, much. oh, Hawaiians like spam. Yeah, yeah, we do. We love spam. It's delicious. Like, <laughs> I don't know why that's like a weird. I don't know. I also, actually like spam too. It's, it's so good. It's so underrated. It's so good. <sighs> yeah. Canned meat. <laughs> it's terrible for you, but it's, it's not right. Um, where did the fried chicken stereotype come from? That's what I want to know too. And don't soul food restaurants also serve fried chicken? So is that like not? A, a little on the nose, yeah. I think yeah. it's like a really a uh, southern thing too, because I find that uh, you know what the stereotypical foods like that black people like is the same as is any southern redneck as well. It's just like yeah. it, white people like it too. It's just especially this mm -hmm. the, the southern regions. Yeah, yeah. I don't get that's that good. whole. I I still don't understand why that got everybody's panties in a bunch so much, or yeah. like why that's considered so bad. I think somebody just decided one day that that's how it is. <laughs> that's usually how it goes. They're like, no. one day, like the word Thanks. retarded. That used to be, yeah. I talked about this on my stream once. Uh -huh. there, I swear to God, there was a shirt and I forget where I saw this. Someone brought it up and I swear to God, I've actually seen the advertisement, but it was like a golf tournament for people with special needs. And there was mm -hmm. the shirt and the shirt literally said like swinging for retards or something like that on the shirt but this was like right. back in the 70s so it was yeah. fine no one yeah said i did about see it. that shirt too you know what i'm talking well, about yeah it, okay. it was like swing for retards i'm not even kidding <laughs> yeah like, it was like a shirt it was like their whole yeah i wanted the shirt but i couldn't find it to like buy it oh that it was swinging for retards, retards I, oh, think. Wow. I think that's what it said and yeah and a black chef at nbc served fried chicken and collard greens in honor of black history month quest love was not impressed he stirred up a Twitter storm when he tweeted the picture. I don't understand at all. It's not trying to offend anybody. It's not trying to suggest that that's all that African-Americans eat. It's just a yeah. good meal. The chef, Leslie Calhoun, told the Grio, adding, I thought it would go over well. It did not. Yeah. The problem I mean, stems from the way fried chicken is associated with black people and the historical baggage that comes with it. The same way what? blackface recalls minstrel shows, the black people love fried chicken image recalls negative portrayals of black people. How? Yeah, how? that's Why an awesome decision. Fried chicken's great. Why? It's so good. I don't understand. That. I, I don't say why. I feel how. inclined to like somebody more if they like fried chicken. Yeah, <laughs> I trust you. You yeah. like fried chicken. If you don't like fried chicken, I don't know if I trust you. You're weird. Right. Why is watermelon you... racist? I love watermelon. Yeah, yeah that's another thing here. that we eat in Hawaii all the time because it's hot. You go to the beach, you get a watermelon. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Everyone loves it. So yeah, I don't get it. All right, all right. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> what there's that no really, an, was. there's no real answers here. <laughs> I feel That's like maybe like watermelon grows mainly in the south, doesn't it? I'm Is that sure why too? That has ties to it, yeah. That's so. But weird. that doesn't change the fact that everybody loves it, and like even yeah. if it was associated with black people, why is that such a bad thing? Yeah. Like, right. It's a right. great again, a great decision. It's delicious. Yeah, it's the same know. thing with Indians and curry. Curry is amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm glad Indians mm -hmm. made it. So thank, thank you for making curry. It's delightful yes. like i don't know 
Wow, I don't Sounds get it. Weird. It's food. Like I don't understand. It is food doesn't have feelings or like oh I'm gonna go be eaten by this group of people today. Like yeah. I don't. It is weird. But we they have feelings when it's dead. Like, why though? <laughs> why is fried chicken considered racist? Like what happened to like why? Like how did you come and to this? Bombs. But they don't ever say. Hell yeah. I don't know. I know. I need someone Thanks to explain you. it to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Spam musubis. I could eat one every single day if I wouldn't get fat. They're so good. Spam's delicious. It really is not good for you, but it is delicious. It is delicious. Love I it. agree. <laughs> and it's easy. It is. Just yeah, that's why I have in like my emergency apocalypse stash. stash. Yes. I have like probably the 50 cans cookie. of spam. <laughs> it's just <laughs> waiting for the apocalypse. Melanie's going to be eating good. good. I know where I'm going. Yes. <laughs> I never ate spam ever. So. <gasps> it's really? so good. Okay, we I gotta make a spam to be for Leanne. <laughs> just grill it up. Like some people are like, "Ew, grill spam," and they're just picturing eating it straight out of the can. It's like, no, no, it's okay. you gotta do something. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. It's hand meat. One it's of my candy. grandparents loved grilling spam. Just loved like yep. slicing it and grilling it or chopping it up Ooh. and putting it in something. So that was my introduction as a kid. Yeah. yeah. You just grill it, put some mustard in, on it and some dill pickles. Ooh, yeah. Amazing. That good. Or yeah. like, so like a hot dog in a can. Yeah. A hot dog yeah. in a can. I've never <laughs> had that. Like a Vienna sausage kind of. <laughs> oh, Vienna sausage. Okay. Love okay. Vienna sausage. Yeah. Yeah. Or like a spam spread, like where you like put it in a blender and like or a food processor and chop it up with like pickles and a little mayonnaise and like mm -hmm. put it like on. a blender that like a smoothie i was like i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like a food processor. i would drink that <laughs> spam, sm spam smoothie in the morning it's a great source of hey, protein no <laughs> i don't really have an answer but this other article mm. um explores why fried chicken is associated with Black okay. people is because it's a soul food diet that helps sustain the grueling physical demands of slave labor. But like lots ah, of people have grueling yeah. physical jobs, right? But they're awesome. saying they gave black people fried the chicken when they were slaves. Gave man, they're eating good a sense of yeah, familiarity so and great. Part. Like okay, I mean, <laughs> like are really familiarity and comfort, comfort food isn't okay what's yeah. wrong with the comfort food i don't yeah. think anyone thinks that when they're talking about black people and fried chicken no. they're not going like oh yes the slave days exactly no. <laughs> and That's guess so what all types of people have physically demanding jobs and all types of people just like eating chicken is yeah. there anything more comforting than either like fried chicken or a big bowl of some pasta i don't oh, know exactly so yes so good yeah i i don't know i've yet to find a good reason i don't know i'm like it's did they so used to hit them with bags of fried chicken when they were slaves i'm like why like <laughs> i just don't get it like they yeah, ate it so it's they bad get injured for having to fry a chicken with their bare hands or something i don't yeah, know like i don't I understand tell us Hi. Hi. Hello, Hi. my friend Hi. Hi. pretty okay. girl oh wait i was trying to put the blonde in the middle there we go. Oh, in the middle. Oh, it's I like this. All right. All right. I like Looks this. Looks good. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, go. no. yeah, that way we're Do you like fried chicken? <laughs> yeah, no, do you know <laughs> yeah, do you like fried chicken? <laughs> oh, I love it. I yeah. love it. Half life, like it. Ho I hope yes, as I called it as a child. Oh, it, I can make fun of it. <laughs> they don't separate. It's an odd separation. Hope, yes, it looks like. I would. I was uh, thinking it was like religious or something. That fried chicken sandwich, it, it, mm. every every other one pales pales in comparison. Oh, so I your hair looks so good. Did you layer it? Oh, yeah. I was it's bored, like... so I curled it up and washed it for once. Oh. <laughs> oh, I have. So I'm. I in, uh, candy is my thing. I have dots today. Dots. Oh, oh, nice. Good. I love dots. Yes, they're unrelated. I love darts. I hate that they, they don't have enough red ones. No, the never. Green's my favorite. I love the green one. Oh, it. Whoa. Oh, no. That this is maybe bad. Said, oh, oh, hi, April. Green dots? I will eat all of your green dots so you can have the red ones. Oh, my Where God. Of course. path. If you like a green <laughs> dot. <laughs> Sorry. That's wild. I should keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I, I like them all. I don't know. I think they're all good. Also, I'm happy to find other people who like dots. Everybody makes fun of me that they're a Nana candy. <laughs> I was I like, hey, that, really? <laughs> I'll eat all the bad flavors first and then I'll save the good flavors for the end. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. I feel like it's the same for like me and Mike and Ike's. I like the green ones the most. And then yeah, the red ones. I love ones. Mike and Ike's. Also, another thing that like, I think it's quintessentially uh, 
African American people. Is it? Is it? That like Boss. Mike and I? Oh, 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 see, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Only black people like candy. Day. Just All the watermelon. Just chicken. Yeah. Just only just chicken, chicken and watermelon. That's Orange it. Orange soda, grape soda. Yeah. Occasionally grape, yeah. yeah. Sour right. Patch watermelons are my favorite thing. I right. think that the whole grape soda, orange soda has to just be like, you're kind of, a, it seems like a poor people thing. Cause I grew up I with that. I don't know. My sister-in-law is Puerto Rican. She loves grape soda, loves uh, orange, orange soda, loves strawberry soda. There's a lot of soda. I like the only acceptable soda. sodas, really. Yeah. I really cold. like ice cold orange crush is really good. So yeah. good. So one of my one of my chat members was telling me, and I still have to do this on the snacks room one of these days, but an orange soda with vanilla ice cream in it. Yes. That mm -hmm. sounds amazing. Yes. Yes. Whatever you do with like a root beer float, just replace it with like the orange. Yes. So it's like a cream soda thing or oh, Coke is even good. Yeah. Dr. Pepper's fine. I don't know. Oh, Dr. Yeah. Pepper. <laughs> Switch it up. It's I'm delicious. Dr. Pepper, but I do a Diet Coke is my ride or die, but um here chrissy you asked me earlier like something that i'm a sucker for i can't stop drinking coke like i don't drink much soda ever but if i do it's always coke and it's not diet i can't stand yeah. diet coke i don't know why people say i can't stop doing coke <laughs> it's great <crazy. laughs> you guys know what not i'm a sucker true. for <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second sorry <laughs> yeah Martin Vasquez been killing me on Twitter head. lately. Uh, Glenn Torres, I heard in Massachusetts they served the slaves lobster so much that they had to make a law that said they could only give it to them so many times a week. I love lobster. I like yeah. lobster. Yeah. Even though they're the lobster. cockroaches of the sea. Yeah, yeah they just them. crawl around eating all the oh, bottom eating butter. Stuff. I oh. love them. Like they oh, got God. lobster. I feel like they were eating pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Food stereotypes. Uh, are really just facts. I don't know any Latina who doesn't like rice and beans. Exactly. I know. There I is like some truth beans. to it. You're right. And, and I don't is get why it's like getting your pants in a bunch. I yeah, I don't get it. I, it's like saying white girls like to wear UGG boots. They do. They the do. Left. And just, their pumpkin spice lattes. Yeah. The left yes. likes to ignore reality, and that in extends. The UGG era, to... I had an UGG backpack. I had twelve <laughs> pairs Damn. of UGG, and I'm not kidding. I didn't wow. even know twelve backpacks. of them. They had, a, they had a small pink furry bug backpack. Yes. Wow. That wow. Backpack. I still. You don't it. have it anymore. Heart It'll heart. come back in style. So. You no, just... I fucking wish I kept it. It was so adorable. Yeah. According to the movie Undercover Brother, mayonnaise is a black kryptonite. Thank you, low IQ media. Whoa. I fucking hate. <laughs> I so like mayo funny. too. Oh, I hate it. I, like it too. I love. Y'all know about I Duke's like mayo it. though. No one's. I like Chick Fil A mayo. People Duke always bring mayo up Duke's mayo. mayo. It is. It's the best. It's professional the only contrarian. Good. Before chicken were bred for meat, there wasn't much meat on the bone. So fried chicken was how po people took scrawny chickens and made something good. I'll eat just the skin oh. off the chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh, just the fried skin. So when good. You yeah. get a bucket of KFC and you just rip oh, all the skin. I off. love to get Popeyes and it's just all skin. Like Delicious. Dried I'm like, ew. Even like local deli fried chicken, like the thighs are my favorite. They have the most skin on them. I'm I think. surprised they don't uh, just sell like a box of fried chicken skin. I'm right? sure they do. Chrissy, good point. You're onto something yeah. there. Yes. Give me a box. It is of KFC skin. chips. Like think of like how carnivore crisps are, but it's all is all just fried chicken uh, or, oh. or that, that fried chicken skin. Honestly, I that's those at Content House, and I thought they were delightful because I do I would love eat that it. over vanilla ice cream. You'd eat that over like oh, a yes. toast. You could eat that over. It could be a season. Put it on your salad. Yeah, anything. Of croutons. Oh, my God. Salad. Man. Well, that sounds delicious. There is actually a restaurant in Vegas that I'm dying to go to that has an appetizer that's like a big cup full of just fried chicken skins with like dipping sauces. Wow, it's in Circa. So yeah. Okay. I I have to go. <laughs> They're yeah, straight they're gonna get flagged for racism. And then it's very inclusive, <laughs> you know. <laughs> There's too much. Andrew Rob is only racist because of the white and dark meat and the meats being segregated. Oh, good point. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That is true. They always make you choose white or dark meat. So, I don't know if I should tell Keith Olbermann that growing up, I always went for the dark meat at Thanksgiving. Oh, no. there, there you go. <laughs> the dark meat is always like better. I preferred, it. I preferred it, much to the chagrin of my father. <laughs> uh, yeah. Happy plate, yeah. doctor. Do you need something <laughs> to sound of music? 
the hills are alive. Nobody wants. Yeah, it's to very hear like Swiss things. Miss. That's what I was gonna say. Like the Swiss, Swiss Miss, Miss box. Your like, regular um, Julie Andrews that can't sing. I would have got kicked off of the musical in five seconds. Oh, <laughs> would have been bad. They make chicken skin potatoes chips. What? Where? I think I've seen Whoa. Those. Wait, I didn't want. Lay's come out with like a chicken and waffles flavor? They did do. anyone call they that? They did, did, I think. There was a competition for flavors and chicken and waffles was one. Yeah. And I believe it mm. won. Yes. It was. It was okay. It was weird. Okay, but it was know, pretty good. I'd eat it again. I like a regular baked Lay. I'm a, a boring Ooh, person, yes. I guess, but I like a ruffle. Mm, I like the cheddar I ruffles. The ruffles. I'm hungry now. I know. <laughs> I can, I'll eat after my wedding. It's fine. <laughs> no, <laughs> never. Candy and white claw diet, right, Chris? Yes, but until you then. Plague doctor. Every time Zia speaks, there needs to be an oompa, oompa music playing. What is oompa music? What I want to know. I don't know. Like oompa loompa? Is that the oompa? <laughs> That's not oompa. a good That's very untoward. Nostalgitron. I thought April and Zia were the same person. For <laughs> <laughs> Melanie, that Pride Month tweet was fire, just like Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh my God, what was it? <laughs> it went pretty viral. I got a lot of hate for that. <laughs> Speaking of hate and backlash, let me link it God, in the thing. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it, it, it was one of my bigger banger tweets. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> this is great because it's a religious joke. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. This is funny. In fact, it's so funny and so good. I wish I had come up with it. <laughs> I get, if I get banned for this, I'll see y'all later. The first Pride celebration. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Those of us not religiously. <laughs> oh my God. Damn, I don't get it. Oh. Well, like, Sodom yeah. and Gomorrah in the Bible. Um, um, yeah, God took it out with a uh, with fire and. Uh, yes. That's <laughs> yeah, I just thought you maybe hated gotcha. okay. people. Fire and brimstone. <laughs> It was not pleasant. God, this is so funny. Better would be if uh, the fire bombs were rainbow colored. Wow. <laughs> Did well. you look at any of the quote tweets? Was it people just? I like, looked at some, and I got. It? I was getting some hate, and I was like, "All right, I'm done looking." <laughs> no, wow. just yeah, stick to the funny. That was it. That was right. Why like, should people yeah, just like laugh them. at it and move on? Like it's very niche. <laughs> I yeah, I like I don't. Well, actually, the Bible isn't really niche, so anybody that really knows the Bible, like, exactly, Bible. most people yeah. know that. Story. They know, yeah. you know. Like, I, these all are pretty positive. Most yeah, have these have been pretty so positive. Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, Surprise! This is it's actually a smart tweet. This is like, so you're not going to engage with a certain like uh, lower level IQ person. Oh, here we go. Fake Christian. That's what some people told me like, oh, wow, fake Christian. I'm like, oh, so I'm fake Christian for sharing something from the Bible? Okay. <laughs> fake Christian. Wow. <laughs> the fact you're proud of yourself, you are a heartless harlot. <laughs> you heartless harlot. How dare you? Wow. <laughs> I'll, take heart I'll take heartless harlots for 200, Alex. Heartless <laughs> that sounds oh like God. something out of the Bible itself. <laughs> don't hurt a dead. <laughs> Who was that? Most of these people yeah. hate religion, so why do they even care? Exactly, like, it's you like you don't why care. Do you care. Why, Melanie? Why does it matter? I've heard why does it matter if Jesus hates you? Okay, okay if you don't care about Jesus, then who cares? No, why? No, exactly. On Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> Something like, to be mad oh about. My God. People are just like, just chill, man. God. The people Melanie, that get mad are like the people that get mad about video games, but they don't play video games, but they're right. mad at it and they want them to change exactly. it, but they don't play the video yeah. games. They're like, video games make you violent. I'm like, yeah, there were no, there was no violence before video games. <laughs> yeah. Never. Never. A peaceful society. Never. <laughs> so hey, Melanie. Yes? Who were Sodom and Gomorrah? I need the cliff notes. Sodom and Gomorrah was a, a, a town, right? So like a city. Oh. And it was plagued with uh, just a bunch of sexual immorality um so there even were like two angels that were like walking through sodom and gomorrah and the dudes really wanted to grape the angels um it was uh it, it, yeah 
two cities, I Sodom and Gomorrah. Like, what if it's Aiden Roy or something? I thought they were like oh. Aiden Roy, yeah. Roy, Sig it's, it's I mean, they did all kinds of they did all kinds of stuff, but um, but sodomy was a that's big what I wanted one. to ask if sodomy was invented in Sodom. Yeah, well, that's, that's where that that's where yeah. sodomy comes from. Yeah, I mean, yep. coming without a destination, basically. Just uh, immoral cities. They had two immoral cities, and uh, they got they got t uh, taken out. <laughs> God was not too pleased. God was like, if you can find, t or if you can find like 10 righteous people there, then I won't destroy it. And they couldn't. Wow. Yeah. They couldn't? they couldn't. So he destroyed it. Mm -hmm. mm. That's fun. <laughs> I don't know why they get so Next mad time. though. History is fun. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. So I think Provincetown and Chelsea have a little something to be worried about. Where's Provincetown? What the heck? It's in um, Massachusetts, I think. Hmm. It's basically like gay Massachusetts town. Oh, is it? I don't really have a town like that around here. I live in the Cape middle of Pod. nowhere. I went there in college once. April, Gino, and I are coming to you guys in August. I know. Yes, I'm going to finally meet Keanu okay. live in person. We have like a for our show. We have our ninth, ninth anniversary like party and comedy show coming up uh, oh, yeah. August 12th, I think, at Stoney's in Rockville, and Keanu That's and Gino fun. will be joining us. I think I for guess a I've long. I've never met you in person, have I? No. No, I've, I've never gotten to meet any of you in person, and it's killing me. Ooh. I would love to hang out sometime. Oh my god, let's get drunk. <laughs> uh, tonight, we were doing our members only show and Gino popped in for a little bit and apparently him and Aaron were planning a movie night together on like Thursday or Friday. I think Thursday night and then you guys are going to come over and do our morning show with us. Okay. That's that's They're going to do a movie night together? Yes, so yes, I guess so. Just the, that's very, very gay of them. I it's, love very them. <laughs> it's very Midwest. <laughs> very cute. We'll get very fucked up the next day. Hell yeah. <laughs> just, just wait. No, I love I that. Wait. Okay, Max. Is Keith Olbermann the perfect example of Jell's <laughs> legacy media attacking the new media? Olbermann was fired at least five times and nobody cares about him anymore. He is dying yeah. to remain relevant. Yeah, dude. Uh, that's, crazy. that's exactly it. If he thinks talking about me is going to keep him relevant, like he really should aim higher. Chrissy, you're that pretty girl causing shit in the media. You can't help himself. Hell yeah. What do you mean aim higher? You're definitely way higher I'm than really, him. Yeah. Very hard to get out for sure. Like a lot. Go for yeah. Lizzo. I don't know. Go for <laughs> Lizzo. I don't know. Why? <laughs> <laughs> right. I guess there's nobody really doing it. There's nobody really pushing it, which is so exactly. sad. If I'm the only one pushing it, god damn. Well, they should stop being bitches then. Yeah. Somebody's got to start. I agree with that. Like, I love like Howard. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hope you like it. God bless. <gasps> Look at your green Simcaster. That looks great, Justin. Oh, wow. Ooh, buddy. Awesome. Vermont Cheddar, thanks for becoming a new member. Push ups. Exodus 2017. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's sass. How are you doing, everyone? <laughs> Oh, neighbor's ass. No ass coveting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't covet someone else's ass. Just do your own spots. Yes. Leo Fisher, I ate my chicken and ready to drive you, Miss Chrissy. Oh, thank you, Leo. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I feel really like want fried chicken now. Yeah, we oh. all need to get fried chicken in honor of Chrissy and her trouble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, if you a picture with our fried chicken. If you could... If, this would make me so happy. Eat some chicken in the next week. Take a picture of yourself eating it and tag me and Keith Olbermann. That would be great. Okay. okay. I definitely will. That. I will do that several times this week. I love chicken. <laughs> It'll give me an excuse to go. The best chicken here in Pittsburgh is at a gas station. It's I love anything chicken. from a gas station. So Seven okay. Eleven is like my favorite restaurant for real. Like, for real? I love the same. like a quick check. I love a quick check moment. I love a uh quick a trip. Wawa. Wawa yeah, we have is quick trip. my jam. But I I need to go to Bucky's. Ever since uh, Healer started sending me Bucky's, I seriously. Oh my God, oh, 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 my God. My God. Oh, my God. oh my God, Chrissy, those bugles covered in white chocolate. Are you kidding? <laughs> I want some so badly. I told I you, I've never been. Keanu, <laughs> I said, Keanu, I'm buying Aww. you a bag of these. These will change your life. And did they not change your life? They unequivocally changed my life. <laughs> I am an unabashed. 
Bucky's fan. I had no idea where we were. There were clothes and t-shirts and snacks and they hardware. They have full-on sandwiches. Like you can go in and get a pulled pork sandwich and brisket. They do that a lot in Europe, even. Magical. All the gas stations oh. have great. Also, Bucky's has there. the best brisket I've ever had in my life. I ate it oh. in the car with my hands. Oh, oh wow. Well. I feel like I Texas just does so it good. better. Yeah. We need to go. I still haven't made it to Texas. Same. Oh. I want to go, and mostly just for Bucky's. You want to visit Bucky. me? Bucky. Hello, Bucky. Hello. 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 I know all your secrets. Hello, Bucky. Hello. Hello. You enjoy Hello. the car ride home, Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> I tried out your underwear when you weren't looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do the whole ride through it. Yeah. <laughs> I sniffed your pants. <laughs> okay, good thing I know I tried to wear. Feel left out now. I need one of those. Lila bought that for me at first I because I was in a really bad mood because we were we drove from oh. Austin to Dallas at like it was like 11 p.m. when we finally got back on the road and I just was like Ugh. fuck all this we waited too long to leave but it was gonna be stupid to just pay for a hotel and I was like let me just get some call coffee and rally and so we're at the bucket we did I was afraid is- a little bit for her like just if, because I knew you were exhausted. If you but, feel like uh-huh. you're about to fall asleep on the road, go to a Bucky's because everything is all of a sudden you're like, <laughs> boom, and all these bright lights. Mm-hmm. And you could drink a cup of coffee while you're shopping for other stuff, refill your coffee, then you're good to go. Yeah. And uh, it, it's the best thing. So, do There's they like, just have Bucky's everywhere or is there one location? I've no, never thought it was like a big Texas. location before. I guess it's just Texas. But hmm. really, it's okay. like a TJ Maxx meets a 7 Eleven. Yeah, you can buy like, like a cutting board in the shape of Texas, but also like a, a bag of beef jerky. Also, you could buy yes. a children's Bucky colored bathing suit. Yeah, you know, like you could get it. Like, oh, okay. I have yeah. a it's like a truck stop, kind of. Yeah. yeah, I have a Bucky oh, okay, onesies cool. now. Yeah, uh, Bucky have, like, onesies. I wish I bought a Bucky a shirt. Like, I wish I onesie. bought more Bucky shit. I have people that have brought me like Bucky's, like koozies and stuff, but I feel left out now. Need to get. I've there. never been either. I've only had okay. people. I've only had someone send me stuff from Bucky's, but I've never actually hey. been to the magical place. I want to go my, so bad. My gay brothers live in Texas, and they never mentioned this to me ever. Wow, wow. Really? they're Maybe doing we, you a know. disservice. I know they never. I, and there's I, also I never like even been to Texas actually. Two hundred gas pumps. Like you will never not be able to get a gas pump there. Okay. That's good. It's amazing. There's children's clothes. You could buy like a mm-hmm. a grunt brand shirt with guns on it. You could buy uh <laughs> they sell guns at Bucky's, I yeah. Think. In the back uh, yeah. probably. No, awesome. That would be great. Better than Walmart. Absolutely. <laughs> it sounds like the airport like terminal, but just like on land. It's so yeah, happy yeah, and that. fun in there. You just <laughs> you feel like things are possible when you step into a Bucky's. You know? <laughs> yeah. it's a, the positive world. Like it's, it's pulled me out of a recession. Yeah. Like oh, the Bucky's white world. fudge beaver twists are what we're talking about. They're like oh. beaver twists. Not, they're <laughs> yeah. like they're bugles dipped in a white chocolate, basically, and it's life changing. Mm-hmm. Like it and is. And if you don't like white chocolate, just don't ever speak to me. No, but, That's but, racist. Like, I know. Though, I know it. What's wrong with the milk chocolate and dark chocolate. chocolate? I like. I. I don't. I, but white chocolate. It. See, Chrissy, it's you only like white chocolate I too. Feel. Maybe Keith was right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe. I said it before. I'll say it again. I'm a white chocolate supremacist. I. Uh, I'm <laughs> unapologetic <laughs> about that. It's just what, better. What if I like dark meat? So it evens out. In my dark, opinion, like my meat dark, my chocolate white. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's good. It's I'm actually not a huge fan of white chocolate. I'll eat it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I don't white like mom. it that much. It's okay. I'll eat it sometimes, but I prefer either milk or dark. Well, basically, it's just butter and sugar yeah. Yeah. mixed up, which it's not really be better, right? Yeah. I don't like it by itself. I like it on things. So I feel right. like on bugles would be delicious. Right. That's when it's yeah. not bad. If it's on something or mixed with something, like a cream, like a white chocolate and cream thing. or, or a, I like oh. it on my thighs. After Easter, I had a weak <laughs> moment and I bought a hollow uh, white chocolate lint bunny. I bought it and within 10 minutes, I was eating it over the sink. Like just <laughs> wolfing the whole thing down. I don't know what came over me. 
Yeah. I'm like, oh, like it's on sale. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta. Yeah. Uh, I do that to dark chocolate, I guess. I'm I'm a standalone chocolate person. It's gotta be dark. That's <laughs> hardcore. Yeah. And I wish I liked it more. It could be like cool, like hipstery. Like I love dark chocolate, but I just don't. I, I, <laughs> I feel I like I should like, like dark chocolate, but I don't. Like I, I feel like, like it's you know, if you have a refined palate and you like cacao, yeah, oh, eighty percent cacao. I hate it. It's, it's like no, like dirt. There's a certain Three. percentage where it gets too dark. I think up to yeah. like seventy percent. I like anything past yeah. that's too bitter. Like if you get like the ninety five percent, it is a bit bitter. Yeah, that's yeah. like okay. Anything well, now past, I'm eating candy. Anything past eighty percent, your dad's gonna be upset with you. <laughs> yeah, so I was gonna make. I left it to you. Make some sort of <laughs> poor joke like that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Killer from KY. Zia hates white chocolate. Guess I'm not sending her the white fudge beaver twist now. Send them to me, oh, Killer. Killer. Send them to me. But don't you want to see me make yuck faces on the stream at least once or twice? It's been a while. That's true. <laughs> Zia, I promise you, you will like not them. make a yuck face. No, I'm sure I'll like them. I don't mind white chocolate in certain scenarios. Just eating plain white chocolate, though, is tough. But like, yeah, like a white chocolate dip something is probably good. Yes. I probably oh. like it. I feel like yeah, it's too white. sweet by itself. A yeah. white chocolate dipped strawberry. Uh, any, I love anything like too sweet. Visconti fights me on this every morning. He likes oh. his coffee black, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. And he knows it tastes like tar. I put Better. like six blendas and like, and mm. I don't know, a, a shit ton of cream. How dare you bring that 90% home? <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, I oh, like a little cream. bit of stevia in my coffee, but I don't like cream or like lots of sugar or anything. Else. I, I the Starbucks across the street, I order it. I get like six extra pumps of like vanilla into it. Really? I, it. Oh, I, I can't like, do that. Oh, I can't. I need my coffee like just l very lightly sweet. Just a little. I love it. Oh my god. I yeah. I either like mine black or with just barely a little cream. That's April, it. are we the same person? Cause Maybe. Maybe. That is weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is our first time on Simcast together, but we were very similar. I think it is, <laughs> but yeah. Maybe it's a blonde thing. I don't it know. It might be, yeah. It's a blonde thing. It's because we're like blonde. Swedish or something. Yes, that's it. Are you both Swedish? I don't yep. know. Are you? Oh, yeah. I am <laughs> I'm half German and then half Swedish and Norwegian. So oh okay. my that God. is pretty damn close. I'm like Swedish. And a bunch of Eastern European, like you, former Yugoslavia area. Okay. I don't know I exactly what country, though. I feel like I'm the usual around here. Like, there's a lot of Scandinavians around where I'm from. Oh, so. not that unique, I guess. They settled I there. That. <sighs> I'm half German, half Norwegian. Really? Yeah. Like, awesome. Left of English somewhere. Yeah. And I think you told me once that your natural hair color is like a dark dirty blonde too yeah, right like dirty blonde, yeah. okay if i would throw that back in maybe i do it. like your redhead i think yeah, yeah. you I gotta be like, redhead I like well. a redhead mm -hmm. like, you look like you could be yeah i can't go back now i've committed it's part of the brand now i can't go back <laughs> <laughs> you are that girl <laughs> yeah i can't i cannot afford new headshots at this point uh, white chocolate was my favorite until I discovered caramelized white chocolate. Whoa, caramelized. What the fuck is that? I tried that. What the fuck is that, Dan? Caramelized yeah, I don't white know chocolate. what that is either. Like, caramelized anything. Chocolate. Yum. Ooh. I don't know if I've ever seen Keanu mm. get so excited. They was like an immediate, <laughs> was like, what I know. That? I, heard, I heard that and I, I, I oh my God, I'm going to slide off my chair. Hopefully, <laughs> Gino's taking notes. Keanu, what are your go to snacks? Uh, oh, I like chips. For like I a car like, ride or something. I like, I like for a car ride. Mm. I like baked lays, <laughs> sour patch watermelons. I like Ooh. the um. There's this wow like, watermelon. The, sour patch. <laughs> I apologize. The uh, sour patch Don't tell Keith Olbermann. Baked lays. I like McDonald's chicken nuggets with sweet and sour sauce. Ooh. Okay. I like. I and I never met a French fry I didn't like. So. <laughs> I like the curly ones the best. Like anything that's like mm. very seasoned. I don't like a flat steak fry. I think that's boring to me. That's I basically think that's not fun because you like squish those. out the 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 insides like mashed potatoes and then eat the skin. I think I'm the very... worst French fry are those crinkled ones. Oh, I, I love, love crinkled oh, fries. Like Oriida. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're good if you like dip in like cheese that uh, cheese sauce, but it by itself. Mm. I think I don't every time I have one again. every time I eat one of those crinkle fries, it just tastes like, yeah, mom's coming home late today. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
Finally! Mom's working late. You gotta make your own food, bitch. To me, it was like the first time I went to, um, what is that place called? The hot dog place that, that serves the crinkle fries. Sonic? No, Nathan's? no. Nathan's. Yeah, it was my first time okay. going to, to a Nathan's and I was like, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> I like so the I love those. Fries. Yeah. God, my mom loved Nathan's. She like loved hot dogs. Hot dogs are <laughs> awesome. I like them. <laughs> Wanted to she make a hot loved dog. hot dogs. <laughs> no, I know. Maybe I just think about food all day because people say I don't eat enough. But I just like my snacks. I think I've I think I have such a terrible diet that that's what keeps you thin. <laughs> that's what I'm just gonna go with. You stay in shape, that's away. for sure. Mm -hmm. Look yeah, at yeah, my ass is buying and making it. food is such a pain in the ass. I'd rather I'd rather just wait till like a special event. Man, mm -hmm. that's maybe where I part ways here. I love cooking. I will spend I a couple hours cooking a really good meal that I like. I love grilling. Like it's big time grilling season here right now, Aww. so I'm just grilling everything. I love it. I do I'm all the, the cooking same way. Here. I love cooking, but I can't do do it just for myself. I love to cook, and really? I love to take like three hours, yeah, and drink oh. a lot while you do it. I'll do it for me. <laughs> I, yeah, crack a few beers for me. I mean, like I think yes, making yourself fun. like a nice meal is so satisfying. I guess even if it's just for you. Well, I mean, no, you I live alone, too. and I I have a tendency like I don't keep food in my fridge because I'll eat it in the middle of the night and won't even know <laughs> it. I. I do the same thing, but I know that I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, I'll eat it. Anytime. Just block it out of my brain. Yeah. I'm a really bad, like, m one of my worst habits, I guess, is getting done with our evening shows, and then I'll go upstairs and eat, like, a plate of food right before bed. And I know you shouldn't do that, but... I don't think it's don't that think that's hurting you in yeah. any way by looking at you. Yeah. You're just fine. Someday it might catch up. Who knows? <laughs> that's always the thought. You're like, is one day this going to catch right. you? But someday enjoy this... it while you can. Right. Someday this joyride ends, you know? No, oh, yeah. you're thin and chic. Listen, Very we're all thin, thin and chic. chic here. Stop. Yeah. It. I don't think eating before you go to bed, if you don't eat anything, to... I my favorite yeah. time to eat is before I go to bed because I don't have to think about what I ate. Right. So You go to bed right after you're watching something great. You go great. eat it in bed. It's wonderful. Exactly. Uh, I Samuel, have... I would perform in Portland or Seattle, but just like let me know what is a good venue. Like tag them, tag me, uh, hit them up. Let me know. Oh my god, it seems like very blue areas. I was gonna say, those crowd, you're gonna get another walkout. Yeah, <laughs> and oh, another man. viral heckler moment. Yep. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll only perform in blue in blue cities so that I stay viral. You <laughs> that has been working very well. Yeah, you gotta go to Portland. Portland, Portland. Oh it's a good one. I would be LA. stabbed. I'd be Maybe stabbed. Maybe we can go there. Oh. Aaron and I are trying to pull some strings to get more of you guys in Minnesota too. Cause I know like we've talked to like Josh, Denny and all them and you guys have a really hard time getting booked in like the twin cities here. I know that's a tough one. So. Oh really? Is it very blue? Yes. Okay. Not a good one. <laughs> Sacre bleu. Uh, Clint Doris, I've seen enough ladies make the yuck face like what he did when I told him my favorite line out of Under the Sea. From the Little Mermaid, it was everything's better down where it's wetter. That's cute, Glenn. That is very nice. Another... I heard that they left out the the Sebastian and the Chef song, and I'm mad about that. How that does was that the go? Only reason I would have seen it. Uh, it's first I'll stuff you with bread. It won't hurt because you're dead, and it's certainly lucky you are. Because it's going to oh, be hot God. in my big silver pot. I used to love that. Was like the only song out of that whole fucking movie that I, I liked. I remember that line. It won't hurt because oh. you're dead. Right? They didn't apparently Not really they didn't like, cut that. songs out. I do my I necrophilia know. joke. <laughs> uh, MG Solid Zia is dressed for the sequel to Twister. <laughs> I have not seen Twister in so long. Yeah, yeah. it's been a while. You'd yeah, like to twist her, I'm sure. Ah, ah, ah. Harry White Row, uh, in Brit Bond Land, a man got arrested for wearing a t shirt that said made fun that made fun of Liverpool FC fans. And what's funny is that I've seen multiple conservatives cheering. About his arrest, so much for FOS. Okay, you uh, get the, you know what FC is. I don't know what FOS is. I don't know. Oh, freedom of speech. Things. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can't. Uh, you can't be for freedom of speech and then cheer when someone on the side that you're not on gets right. in trouble. Then you're right. just a giant hypocrite. Yeah. You have to be your boobs and your thigh yeah. right now. It's a vibe. 
I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I just you. Sitting, like, I do love it. Behind my knee is sweaty. I love it. <laughs> I love it that you're serving both boobs and thigh. Boobs and thigh. She's Rest just and thighs are on the And I'm like, you're, you're, a, you're a KFC. You're serving <laughs> both <laughs> breast and thigh. I'm, I've got well, white meat and dark meat right here. Oh, oh it's the secret God. spices. Yeah. Your, the dark meat's your bee hole. <laughs> oh my God. No, she I might bleach, bleach it. it though. <laughs> a white fudge beaver twist sounds so sexy. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> his butthole. <laughs> oh no, bag it up. <laughs> bag it up. They are so good though. Game start. They are building a Bucky's in Clarksville, Tennessee. <sighs> Ooh. I want them here. If they no, no, no. ever franchise of Bucky's. I'm fucking figuring it. I will take out a loan on my goddamn house to get one. <laughs> yeah, get one. <laughs> one in Jersey. There's so many rest stops. I, mm -hmm. I know. They would do so well. And they I would. feel like you can't go wrong with one of those. People have to stop at a truck stop. Yeah, they you have. Know, a they food. need it. <laughs> oh, so there's interest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Dark Knight Dev, did the dark meat leave when you told him you were pregnant? Fried chicken tastes better when it had no father growing up. Wow. See? <laughs> oh. Hmm. You didn't even say I anything mean, like that, Chrissy. Uh, I didn't say anything like that at all. Wow. Come on, Chrissy. Yeah. Step it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I oh, no. That. Oh, what's up, Carmen? Uh, hi, ladies. Love you all. Keanu, I cannot hear the word untoward now without thinking of you. I know. I know. It's that is your word. word. I brought it back into the American lexicon. <laughs> I heard it on TV and I was like, Keanu! I, yeah, right. I hadn't heard that word in forever, and then I started watching Keanu Cast now, and it's everywhere. I heard you talking about it on your show. I was sleeping, and I w I had it on when I was waking up. Shout That's out to very the fun. morning show, and I was thinking, I'm like, oh, I think I think she maybe heard it on my show because I, I did. It. Yes, I'm okay with you saying it. I think my whole take on our show is like, I'm fine if one person had like that's her word now, but then it's everybody addicting, started using though. it around you. It's addicting, <laughs> and I have a habit of beating a joke or a word into the ground. Oh, like a dead like, horse, right? So that it, it becomes addicting and you can't stop doing it. So yes. now I think that's why you're hearing it more. But, I have uh, fun with Keanu Cast. You keep me busy while I'm getting ready for my show now. Woohoo! Very good. Subscribe, oh. everyone. Wow. Oh. Thank you, Andrew Rob. Hey, ladies. Nice to see y'all, especially the lovely Miss Melanie Mack. Missed her on Valiant Renegade, but it's good to see her here on the best place on earth, Simcast. <laughs> Glad I saved my money. Also, Melanie, remember to drink some water. Love you. Oh, All right. Thank, thank you, Rob. Andrew Rob. Thank you. Rob. Andrew Rob. Like James Bond. <laughs> Yeah, how's the water drinking going? I I forget Good. that. Good, I've been staying hydrated, no issues. Good to go. <laughs> Did you have issues with being dehydrated? Well, during uh, the Christmas holiday, I was just like getting ready for uh, like I was trying to catch up with a bunch of work because I had, like family stuff going on, and I was just in total work mode, and I wasn't paying attention to drinking enough water. And then one day I was on like Nina Infinity's podcast, and I was like so shaky and the whole time oh, i'm like no. okay i'm like light lightheaded i can barely breathe i'm like really shaky and i was like i gotta oh. try to like keep my composure seem like everything's okay and as soon as it was done i like got up i sat on my couch and like my mom and dad were were there at my house at the time and i was all of a sudden my heart started beating like 140 beats mm. per second oh, no. and i was like oh. i don't know i don't know what's going on i don't know what's going on I'm freaking out and then i just realized i'm like you know what i'm thirsty and <laughs> and i started drinking but it made it worse at that point i was past Whoa. the point of no return so it made my heartbeat even faster i was like and then my dad's like oh get in the car get in the car and he like took me to the er and oh and oh they God. were like they put all the heart monitor stuff on there and mm -hmm. they were like well the heart's fine and they put like a they they drew blood and then after that they put like a little thing over it that had like a little bit of saline in it and after that like my heart rate started normalizing a little more and then it got back up again and they were like okay they, they finally put two and two together they're like you're really dehydrated um wow but they so were possible melanie that you yeah, were thirsty bad. for that d <laughs> hmm. <laughs> dehydrated <laughs> yeah well, no, de dehydrated <laughs> yeah so i was like well i uh 
oopsie i was like oh wait yeah you know what i, I haven't drank that much water at all in like a week that's <laughs> happened to me like three yeah. times ended up in the hospital Sla anxiety yeah. slash anxiety like yeah. like three day bender no water maybe a diet coke and then the they'll put the they, they i've had shock pads on me in the emergency yeah. room i'm like oh, i don't God. feel good oh. i don't feel right something's wrong this is like years ago i was in oh my, my the thro in the throes of an eating disorder too um <clears throat> but they they would like uh they would rush me in like th like beyond the line because they're like something is fuck your heart rate is like crazy. yes yes and i would they're like well wow. what are we doing like uh i i don't know i just drink it for three days i haven't eaten anything if i anything i Thanks. threw it up i had one time <laughs> they're like sorry i laugh. don't know how you expect to feel <laughs> but maybe don't do that again yeah no i mean I, the me and like i had the shock pads on me and shit. i'm like i'm gonna die they I'm were about die. to do yeah. something like that they were like if we don't get this heart rate down we're gonna have to do something like no, and, they and, would keep me yeah. for three days to be like get your shit together this is, long <laughs> long, this is not me oh this my is God. just so yeah anyone think that and then anytime your health's in bad shape too, that causes things like anxiety. Like I found out too, like, oh, if your if your gut is all messed up yep. and stuff, it's gonna have you're gonna have more anxiety and shit like that because it's like a nerve superhighway connected to your mm -hmm. like intestines and stuff to your brain. It's insane. So No, my heart yeah. will just pitter pat if I have if I'm anxious, I can just tell I I'm like I'm yeah. not having a heart attack. They're like, yep, are you feeling the they, they had a heart. They had a heart monitor on me for three days in there, and they Damn. would come in, in the middle of the night and go, "Are you feeling anxious?" I'm like, maybe. I don't know. I just can't. Oh. Look at you. you can't get my TV oh. on. And they're like, okay, oh. have some more uh, meds, bitch. Like Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Wow. I'm so jealous that you guys have both had like skinny Lindsay Lohan moments, and I haven't. <laughs> Very hardcore, I'm told. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's scary, though. Yeah, it was. It is like, isn't that Lindsay Lohan esque? Mm -hmm. Well, it was just for dehydration and exhaustion. I think, like, do you ever just get distracted sometimes <laughs> yeah, and you you're... forget to drink or even eat sometimes? It's just like, oh, I, wait, I'm busy or something. I've gotten and, yeah. to eat, but never forgotten to drink water. I'm like one of those just perpetually thirsty people. I will drink yeah. a gallon of water don't every day. Drink. And I don't even I have need to drink that much water. <laughs> yeah. I walk around with like one of the big, like 32 ounce Yetis with me at all times. So I always drink too, but I have forgotten to eat. Like if yeah. I've got a day full oh of work, God. I'll forget to eat for a while. Same. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. I'm like, why do I feel so lightheaded? You feel like shit. Like, yeah. Oh, I haven't eaten in seven mm -hmm. hours. That's, That's what, what I do work. every day. Every day. Oh, I, I just yeah. need a drink. I just naturally go like gravitate toward like a intermittent fasting. I just have my whole I life without too. really thinking of it. Yeah. I just, it's like, I got stuff to do. Like mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. Melanie, that's <laughs> so funny. I started doing intermittent fasting without even realizing I was doing yep. it. Cause I just feel kind of oh. sick in the morning. Like I don't feel like eating. Yeah. Eating makes me feel yeah. worse. I just Easy feel like, do. Yeah. That's why I do mm -hmm. fast. Just do it naturally. I just yeah. do it. See, and it that's how I do it. Really I feel well. like it's a chore sometimes. Like I gotta, three meals a day like i'm i don't know yeah. i'm busy like I, yeah. I, I, i'd rather just eat a big meal once a day than eat three mm -hmm. meals spread out through the day mm -hmm. i don't like to do stand up do, yeah. full i don't like to do anything right. full so I don't like, like yeah i'll eat in your bed or right. you know Gym on uh, an empty I, stomach. Uh, is I stay hydrated all day long. Yeah. I do that. When I go to the gym, it's <laughs> yeah. always on an empty stomach. Yeah. If I'm eating first, it's like, yeah, I can't. Yeah, I it can't feels eat. Good. Eating before the gym, I feel like you just have indigestion now or heartburn yes. and you feel like you're going to puke yeah. when you're working out. Your heart rate's already up. It's not good. It's the only if I don't do hot one. yoga, which I haven't in a while, but it's my favorite thing. It's the only way I work out or run. I cannot do hot yoga if I've eaten something, especially the way I eat. Eat, I don't know, a hundred chicken nuggets and, and sour patch watermelons and then try and do <laughs> hot yoga. It's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. People next to like, do what is that you? smell? It smells like he, No, he is not known me my hot yoga. <laughs> okay. Place, but uh, that's the only thing I really like. Or like running. But you can't really run and eat. No. And I, no. I tried to jump rope in my house like he does. And I, it, it's just pathetic. So. God, I get such a side ache if I tried to run after eating. Uh, okay. uh, oh gosh, no. I eat, I'll eat a banana before I lift, just because I need like because yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to lift heavier, so right. I want to be able to have like a little something in yeah. me. But I can't eat anything more than that. I can't eat like a meal. I right. can't have like a right. whole no. like chicken and rice and then go in and be like I'm gonna work out now. Yeah, I'm gonna take a nap. 
The chicken and rice comes after. Then I'm always hungry. Exactly. Oh, and yeah. that, that's what makes the gym so fun is after it's like, all right, now I get to cook something. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. Then you want to eat. My whole workout, I'm like, okay, what am I eating afterwards? Yes, yes. that's what I do too. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that. Oh, Ginger Adventure. Chrissy, with great power comes great. I don't effing know anymore. Thank <laughs> you, Ginger. I'm going to blow through a couple of these uh, push-ups. Mel, please pray for Chrissy. Proverbs 31.15 says, A good virtuous w woman r riseth while it is yet night. But her wow. morning show is always late. Wow. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, 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 so oh, no. It's a woman's prerogative push-ups. You know, you know what else I'm making riseth while it's yet night? <laughs> <laughs> My betrothed. Okay. Push up. Keith chicken. Olbermann too. Don't forget about him. Yeah, I'm clearly getting a rise out of him. Chicken is inclusive. Chicken equals inclusive. Aaron probably eats more than Venti. I don't know, but I don't know. I haven't thought about that. <laughs> David Lowe, to the entire panel, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Ooh. Ooh. Um, Invisibility. Wow. That would be a good one. Mm. Superpower. The ability Ooh. to, like, travel anywhere like this, like teleport, teleport. that'd be pretty sweet. I think I'd maybe... I'd time travel, for oh, sure. That's pretty really? cool. That's cool. I don't know if that would scare me or not, though. I don't know if I'd want to go back. I, I love being scared. Cool. No, I'd love it. <laughs> I think I'd got to go telekinesis like Jean Grey. I think that that would be awesome. I, uh, God, I want to know what animals are thinking, but I also want to be yes. able to time travel. I feel like oh. I can already read minds. So, like, I, I wouldn't need that. And I wouldn't want to know what people are I thinking. I would hate that. I don't want to know. Be I feel like I would hate going that. Going to people, people's emotions and, like, what's going around. Uh, I just want to fly. I fly around. <laughs> Flying school. Fly. Yeah, yeah, that'd, that'd be, be cool, cool. too. I think just like if I could like teleport myself to Vegas like on a weekend yeah. for a few hours, I think that's oh. fine. I love just, Vegas. Like, fly over there. Like, yeah, yeah like, no, really I think I know why fly. you want to fly is because of that incident with your luggage. Uh, <laughs> car wheeling upstairs. Yes, and my, my man 150 out. pound luggage careening down the <laughs> escalator into oh, a man. No. Thank God yeah. he was so nice about that. Oh, All he wow. said was, it, well, it woke me up. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, that's that's really sweet. Big old suitcase <laughs> coming towards him. You were a couple cute girls, so he didn't care, I'm sure. That was so funny. No, but oh. it's the best because, the, you know, you want to know why the luggage started car wheeling down the stairs? Because Keanu oh, and no. I, <laughs> we decided to reenact. Uh, it was the, in the Sistine Chapel. The Sistine there's you Chapel know, where God and man, God is reaching down. <laughs> and oh, you were doing you know, that? God. God. It's, it's that. Michelangelo. It's Michelangelo. And Michelangelo. And yeah. I was God, and Keanu was several stairs down. She was she was representing all of uh, humanity, and this and I, had, I was holding a lime white claw that we were sharing on the shuttle bus. <laughs> Oh my god. And I was trying to pass the line oh back lot to Keanu. Yeah, so I took my hand <laughs> off of my luggage behind me, and this is oh, Chris's no. hand right here. Uh, and I was reaching for it. We were like, oh, let's re recreate yeah, like, the Sistine Chapel. My, and then as gosh. I took it with this hand, my luggage went careening down the escalator. <laughs> and almost, <laughs> this man, it <laughs> weren't <laughs> anyone else. He was oh, so man. understanding. And it no knocked him off out. his feet. Aww. He was laughing, but he 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 could have gone like he could have been really really mm. in. Uh, he he oh brought it back up to us, and I was like, I am so so sorry. Like I really apologize. We were trying to do a Michelangelo thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> and he was like, really, you can understand. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. me up. <laughs> We're trying to do a Michelangelo oh thing. You've God. done that, right? Like, oh, totally. Everyone yeah, understands. I've been there. It's fine. <laughs> right. On right. the heels of the American airport, uh, American oh. Airlines airport. Oh, horror. yeah. Pants you naughty girl. girl. The last time I was uh, in the airport, yeah. my tampon string was raking across the floor. This time I almost <laughs> kill a man with my luggage. Yeah. This is why oh, we're like, keep our heads down. We're flying back on American. Like, oh, my God. The shame don't, don't pick us off the oh on the God. very airport on the very airline oh. that we uh called oh. out just days earlier that whole situation is just fucked 
It like just up. poor Keanu's got to take her pants off at the gate. Have yeah, they ever? Great. I guess maybe you can't talk no. about it. Did they ever they reach out not. to you? No. No. Numbers. I just got an email. It was so funny. I didn't even read it. They, not from them. I mean, it was like because I just flew home too. It was like, how was your flight again? <laughs> uh, how was your flight? And like us. Uh, they're all they've all been wonderful yeah so not great so great. nothing crazy no one's made me take pants or, off no really. not at all no um, that's so weird because who would Very do that award. who would make me change pants in front of people that's crazy yeah the probably probably wants to see that ass. Like, oh, you know what y'all are wearing you probably can't afford a lawyer so you're probably not going to sue us oh. and not i, I wow. it was just so bizarre i don't know also yeah. i oh. you ladies might understand Sometimes a skirt has the underwear sewn into it, mm. right? Yeah, yes. yes. right. you don't put any they on. They didn't seem to really. That's a, that's so what you had to put on like denim confusing. shorts without. <laughs> and then I was sitting in sparkle pants. They were. Yeah. I had camel toe, like horrible. <laughs> I was like, up the string. Yeah, the, the sparkles are making their way up your fallopian tube. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My, my tampon string hanging out the oh, oh no. it's, it's hysterical that they thought what they made you change into was yeah. somehow better they, know. I, <laughs> no. crazy. No. they should have just said when i walked up chrissy looked like a semblance of all right like a cute cowgirl situation she's cute really cute i, know, and I had cute. these sparkle shorts on and the crop top was so short they should have said all right listen just give up you're not getting on the fucking plane <laughs> <laughs> like it's not gonna so happen. In your corner, ladies. <laughs> Just go. So that's why you Stay want to fly. Where you <laughs> that's why you want your superpower to be to, to fly. So you yeah. don't have to change I, anymore. Yes, I would like to fly on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody makes me change my pants. Good God. <laughs> Where would is it I because want like someone said something like another passenger or they said something? The woman, I wish I got her number that was sitting next to us. This lovely black woman was just like, we kept trying what? to buy her Hennessy and tell about our story. <laughs> I swear, I got <laughs> fried kind of chicken in front of her. We complained to everyone. We didn't have the Hennessy. The drink cart lady. lady. <laughs> we complained to the woman next to us, and she was like laughing but like what happened when that do you think she sees the article and goes i was sitting next to these two clowns yeah <laughs> oh, we're making a lot of noise we were very upset we were we were we were enraged yeah oh well, and then chrissy when i when we had you on our show for a little bit after that happened i said too like wouldn't american airlines want to at least give you guys some like free flight vouchers or anything yeah. just to make right. that cool you know my like, mom called me and she was like Keanu, uh, I, a stewardess in first class was mean to me and I got 20,000 miles. Yeah. Like, they should wow. even, they, they should have given you miles. something. Because yeah. your mom yeah. is like a stately woman that people take seriously. I guess so. Your so. mom's cute, by the way, Keanu. She's that was cute. so fun having her on the show. <laughs> she was she's awesome. my, she's my sidekick for now. Oh, I, I, I love like her. that. That's sweet. <laughs> she's adorable. Shout out Michaeline, Nikki. Michaeline. Um, <laughs> Joseph Crabtree, good evening, ladies, and especially the always beautiful Melanie Mac. Ooh, thank you. Ooh, Sims, K Max. Can I just say that I love fried chicken, whether I get it at Popeyes, KFC, or Chick Fil A? Did Chrissy think even woke media would be so offended? What's the white food stereotype? Uh, cheesecake, cheesecake, wonder bread, unseasoned food. We don't season anything. Apple cheeseburgers. Cheesecake, yeah. apple peas, yeah. You know. It's boiled chicken. That's what white apple peas is a good one. <laughs> apple peas, absolutely. And I love a good apple peas. I do too. Obsessed with apple peas on Friday. Love Olive Garden. I don't care what anyone right. says. I don't care it's my book. favorite. No. <laughs> I married an Italian guy. I can never go back to Olive Garden. Right. Just, I I know. Know. They're it's definitely amazing. lying about the Italian part. It's not real Italian food, but the soup is so good. No, no I do like great. the breadsticks. A homeless the woman in a cloak on the streets of Italy could cook better oh, than yeah. an olive garden. However, it's not legit. There's something <laughs> fun about it. All right? I just it's love it. They're all Fredo sauce. So good. I, yeah. I love it's trash food. So like any of that like too. garbage chain food, I'm so Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> I love all of it. It's so good. If there you go in assuming it. it's not good food, but you enjoy it, then there's no problem there. Right, you know? right. Yeah. Uh, white food is vegetables. Say <laughs> it about the great Dave Ooh. Chappelle. 
they love it. <laughs> or yeah. I guess if you were, if you any many not one of us would be like, oh kale. I just like kale. Yeah. Oh, kale. kale. Gross. I, used to I actually like, really hate kale. I would drink. I would eat kale chips. I yeah, love kale, you like kale chips. Kale. They're super salty. But the like problem it. with I... kale chips is that it's five dollars for like a little handful oh, of things. Right. Oh, no. oh, you're doing it wrong. Buy the go to your produce section, get that big thing for like a dollar ninety nine of the fresh shit. Wash it, dry it, and then you put it on a big sheet with like olive oil and shit, and make it for five minutes. Like, is that all it takes? Five minutes? Look up a That's kale chip bad. recipe online. I do it. I make it. They're delicious. That actually, goes you can top it with whatever you want. Ooh. Real good. Okay. I guess great. that's a white guy thing. <laughs> April Kyler Quinn Imhold back on Simcast. Any progress oh. getting to appear on STMS? Maybe Chrissy knows a connection. You guys gotta stop writing things out in initials. I don't know. What yeah, that I don't know. Is. STMS is Steel Tone Morning Show, but I'm not oh. sure. I've oh. had we've had Chrissy on, so I'm not sure what that's about. But the Kyler Quinn thing, apparently, our chat thinks that I look like a porn star, which happens to be Kyler Quinn. And, that's um, what's up. That's what's up. I don't know. <laughs> so and that's the new thing. Let's see. I'm Googling right now. <laughs> Googling I, now. I don't know that I look that similar to her, but they think so. So that's There's what they're There's a porn star with. for everyone in this box here, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. So. I don't oh, know yeah. any porn uh, stars are now. I have no Mine clue. is uh, Brie Olsen. That's who I get. Tyler oh, Quinn looks like a cross between oh. uh, a chick that was in the uh, vampire movies. I see it a Stewart. little bit. Stewart. Yeah, um, a little bit more. I know what he's saying now. We had jokingly, like, once the chat accused me of looking like Kyler Quinn, Aaron's like, oh, maybe we should get her on the show. I think he's talking about getting her on the show. So, oh. I don't know. I think she's got better things to do, more uh, pressing topics. Oh, yeah. I see it. <laughs> to think talk so? about it. Pressing. No. <laughs> yes, pressing no, topics. No. I don't know. I don't see it. They I don't saw it. Yeah. I don't know. See, My, like a tiny pressure. bit. I think you and Zia look more alike. Yeah. Especially from like here. Yeah. I don't think, I don't know. I, I if don't I see her like in action, I could tell. Maybe if I yeah. seen you in action <laughs> too, <laughs> side by side, yeah. then I could tell. <laughs> she, she does a lot of stuff uh, my father would stop talking to me for. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> Ginger Adventures. She likes that dark cacao, just a bowl of butter beans. Pass the cornbread if you please, and I. But I don't want no collard greens. That's what my grandpa would sing while water skiing. Best man in my life. Rest in peace. At ninety Aww. years old last month. Oh, rest in peace to wow. your ginger grandmother. I've never had collard greens. Oh, it's good. What the hell are They're good. good. Very, Very good. good. Yeah. I also want to try eat cornbread, black eyed peas. Never hush had black eyed puppies. peas. Never had hush oh. puppies. Never had cornbread. Ooh. I'm not cornbread. I've had. Oh, cornbread. I have hush puppies. Um, uh, oh my god, what's the other thing? Uh, grits, grits. I gotta try grits. Oh, grits. Yes, who does not have so much good southern food? Yeah, I, I love know. a good grit. I, 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 I look oh, like man. I'm from the south, but I am not. <laughs> Cajun shrimp oh and god, grits, there's grits. nothing better. I love Cajun shrimp and grits. I gotta try it. I'm just I used love to, used to eating goat so much. cheese and grits. Mm -hmm. I love hominy. That's oh. their giant grits. So That's good. Our thing. team's Finally able to oh. catch you live. It's been too long. Excellent cast tonight, Chrissy. Happy to see Leanne, April, and Melanie on the same show. Goo boo. Aww. Well, thanks, Chrissy, <laughs> for having us. Um, yeah, you have, sure. I've reduced bread consumption, and at 33 years old, I fixed some heart <gasps> birth defects. That's May amazing. avoid needing a third heart surgery. Wow, good for you. Damn. Wow, that is awesome. Wow, that is amazing. Good job. That makes me think that I should cut the bread. I love I bread. Mean, yeah, even, even, even if you don't want to go, like, super extreme if you don't want to go full carnivore full keto you can just like cap your carbs at like 100 grams a day like you don't have to go super extreme yeah if you're just like okay let me just cap it here or maybe 50 grams or whatever it is then i'm sure you would notice a difference just with uh upping your protein intake and lowering the carb intake i feel like we never used to hear about gluten problems much either but like aaron's right. had serious problems with gluten before and then as soon yep. as you start cutting the pasta and the breads out of there yeah you feel so much better you can make your own bread it's way better i've been doing that and it's not there's like so many different recipes like some of them are a pain in the ass but right. it's actually way better and i don't think it, it doesn't make me feel as sick as when i ate like fake bread so well that's true because like a lot of store-bought bread like almost yeah. every like sandwich Excellent. type bread has soy in it if you look at yeah. the ingredients mm -hmm. almost all of it does that's yeah. why i don't like it yeah, i like good all. bakery bread like if you go to a good bakery mm -hmm. that like mm -hmm. makes real bread ooh, yeah that's, good. that's what i'll buy if i don't make good. it 
but I don't mean, look hack at 375, bread. lost 150, got 25 more. Wow. 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 Good job, Pete. Well, 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 well done. Good Jake. job. That's awesome. Yeah. That's hard. That's really hard to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure enough is. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. There's so Fred, many fat people. Incredible for you. Lost three pounds and so much healthier. Thanks to Melanie. Oh, Ooh. Good job. Look at you, inspiration. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> Everyone's getting spilled. CJ, Mel, tips for avoiding meat sweats? I mean, I don't, I can't relate because um, I don't think I've ever had this elusive meat sweats people talk about. But if you have an issue with that, maybe just like kind of ease into it instead of just going full on carnivore. Yeah, maybe just, just up your AC, thing. bro. Yeah, or that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you're eating too much. I, I yeah, that too. too sweats. I or maybe it's, if you're eating either. enough to where your stomach's not just absolutely full, I don't see why you would get meat sweats just eating a normal amount of meat. But I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I always yeah. feel like meat sweats is a thing sweat. guys said when they're like eating too much and they just don't feel good after like i've heard aaron right. say oh you've got the meat sweats and i'm like you're not even sweating i don't <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean i don't know <laughs> like, I, is it a real thing or they bit. just make it up no, they're just gorging no. themselves that's what it sounds like eating. Right. Yeah. yeah that's what it Whoa. sounds like you're just hot because your body's working overtime trying to fucking use all that yeah. crap yes. you gave it that's it <laughs> you can get pasta don't sweats overeat. yeah then. see they're all saying exactly. too yeah yep yeah that's the point yeah wow. Everyone yeah agrees. i think I think they're right. I think it's a made up thing. Like yeah. the, it's just, you know, yeah, I've never, ever, ever. And I eat a fair amount of meat. I, I've never gotten sweats from eating meat. That's really well, weird. If you <laughs> gorge yourself with dots, I'll start to sweat. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Don't get dots. cheesecake that, sweats, yeah. dude. Like no, if you exactly. overeat, you're going to get that. I think yeah. Arby's just made it up, didn't they? Wasn't it on like a commercial? Was it Arby? Really? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Arby's, Arby's, like, Arby's, or Arby's or something. Arby's, we have the meat. We got the Arby's fries and are delicious. Hi, ladies. Love and hugs. Hey, oh. Chad. Did you know Zia streams on Twitch oh. every Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday at 8 p.m.? Zia, tell the good oh. folks. <laughs> you bitch. God damn it, backhand. You're such a freaking gem. <laughs> Uh, if you guys want to watch my stuff on Twitch, I do stream on every Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. It's Zealand on Twitch. It's easy to find. Just X I A L A N D. And I today I ate a a fair amount of snacks. I tried two ice creams. Friendly's Ooh. has this limited edition s'mores ice cream that has it's so good. It has the ice cream itself is good, and it has chocolate flakes in it. But it has this thick, like super thick, uh, crushed graham cracker ribbon that runs through it. That oh, is like oh my God. it's pie like a graham cracker pie crust but it's like Ooh. this thick. It just that sounds so oh good. my god it's so good oh i have to give god. it away immediately so, <laughs> since you do that like you try different snacks have you ever tried that like ranch ice cream that's going around oh or like a little yeah. bit oh. but i'm going ranch, to ranch like yes. ranch dressing yeah yeah hidden valley is the grand valley okay hidden i don't fuck with hidden valley water. ranch Ooh. as a i don't either in the south no Oh, thank you. No, and I, I hope when we come there, they have like real ranch because you cannot get it in New yeah. York. Yeah, yeah. I think they have. I like the ranch around here. Um, people do like Hidden Valley though. I don't get it. I'm not no, a fan. I don't like it's it. Repulsive. I don't it's really not hard. like ranch to begin with. But I also haven't bought salad dressing in I don't even know how long. It's so easy to make. I've been making my own salad dressing oh, for years. Like I've love, never. I love that about you. What's your go-to? Like, what kind do you make? I really like um, vinegar, so I usually just do uh -huh. like. It's supposed to be two parts oil, one part vinegar, but I'm okay. like a psycho about vinegar, so I do two and two. <laughs> like oh, I really love okay. vinegar. Uh, a yeah. little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then you put a like a pinch of sugar in, and then it, and then you just uh, whisk it till it emulsifies. Yeah. You can do like I've also done versions with a little Greek yogurt and lemon. Oh, nice. You can put a little Ooh. Dijon mustard That's in there, good. and that it's is good. like a yeah. million billion times healthier than any mm -hmm. sort of dressing you're gonna get at yep. the store because they put seed oils in that crap and like mm -hmm. seed oils are some of the worst things you can really put in your body it, yeah. oh it's garbage and they've got always like xanthan gum and like exactly yeah, and yeah. Blech. Yes. yeah no, and it's just so easy to make so like i haven't i haven't bought salad dressing and i don't even know how long it's so terrible nice. i, I wonder say. what's in a dot what's in a dot <laughs> that's a good <laughs> question uh corn Gelatin. syrup sugar corn syrup. <laughs> so far so Love good already <laughs> food starch <laughs> modified uh malic acid that sounds delicious mm -hmm. <laughs> natural and artificial flavors sodium citrate artificial colors it actually doesn't have as many ingredients as i 
It's not as bad as that's I would have thought. That's, so <laughs> that's actually legitimately not that bad. Well, See, no, this it is has why a very you... short list. Actually. This is why you eat Nana candies. They just made it different back in the yes. day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, see, it got red 40 in it, though. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah, that red oh, doesn't no. red 40 cause like some really gnarly mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Oh, no. Help yeah. me out on that. What does that do to you? Because I don't know. I think it I've like, been dead for six months. It's just the white claw keeping me alive anyway. My body. <laughs> it's fine. They said Red Forty gives like kids ADHD and shit, and like oh, makes them like, like twitchy it. and shit mm. like that. Okay. Wow. I also could have swore it caused something that? really bad. No. Ooh. Island nectar, wild mango, grapefruit cooler, carambola melon, mm. and paradise punch. That sounds Ooh. awesome. Amazing. Fun. You know what else I'm obsessed with lately? I love the phrasing more than I love the cookie. I love Oreos, but I love Oreos enrobed in Ooh, chocolate. Yeah. Oh, you know, that, that sounds good. Really? Look, they have watermelon dots. Those are awesome. Oh, watermelon. All right. We can eat that with our fried chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen any of those. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Watermelon dots. We're all getting canceled. Oh, <laughs> Man, <laughs> those watermelon would be so good. I like the design, how they actually like the, the green and then the yeah. Right. yeah, that's yeah. cool. Oh, the sour dots look so good. Oh man, mm. yeah. <laughs> Find some of those. Yeah, oh yes. Oh fuck! You did say watermelon dots. There they are. They exist. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they exist. <laughs> They're not in robes. In a but... whole pack. Of watermelon oh. dots. You're gonna find exactly some for you, Kiki. I know I love dots. Delicious. It's delicious. Mm. Wow, all I wanna do is eat food. Okay, yeah. no, it's <laughs> making me hungry. Wrong. According to Undercover Brother, Black Man's Kryptonite is a white woman. Denise <laughs> Richards is the best and one of my childhood crushes. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I that. She was hot though. Really yeah. hot. Wait, look at your enrobed Oreos, Keanu. They're enrobed. I have the white chocolate yeah. ones as well. I'm, I'm taking notes. They're I'm called taking enrobed. Notes. Like, what? What? I Does did it? find them at a, uh, and they're empty because uh, I ate them all in bed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I had the white chocolate ones too, which I do prefer. Oh. But I thought I'd do the the regular chocolate ones, and they're delicious. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you just look up. But why do they call them movie. enrobed? That I love so the phrasing. Bizarre. They're not. They're not chocolate covered Oreos. Yeah. They're chocolate enrobed, enrobed Oreos. Like that's what? why I gotta be bougie it. about it. Only at Target. What the fuck? store over here. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like in these are enrobed, and now that I'm thinking, I, I did think maybe this was um like a European thing, and they got a mm -hmm. deal. And there is like a hundred different languages on the back of this box. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! <clears throat> wow. <Damn>. Enrobed. <laughs> Keanu, you must have the same um <laughs> metabolism as Anna. It's gotta be high. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well, and I uh. Well, I mean, there are times in my life where I've like been like heavier, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. Or I just like I don't like to do anything full. If I'm gonna right, eat, I'm yeah. gonna go hard, and I'm gonna yeah. do it like probably one time a day. Yeah, I'll mm. eat diner food in the middle of the night. Well, I'm gonna eat reader. what I really want to. So well, thank you, reader, for the super chat. Going carnivore, yeah. I am apparently prone to arthritis, but haven't had any joint pain since. Nice, oh, good job. Awesome. There you go. Good Thanks, job, reader. Dude, that bet. is cool. You guys are really selling me on it. I don't know if I'm <laughs> going to give up everything else, but I could try a few things. But yeah, even if you just made small adjustments, like a little less carbs and more protein, that would oh, yeah. help. Yeah. Okay, okay this yeah, is from last week. So last day. week, thanks, Will, for the super chat. <clears throat> last week, there was talk of auditioning men for Melanie. Count me in. 40 years old, Orthodox Christian, nerdy. I work out. I work with meat. Willing to move to Texas. <laughs> I know it works with me. Adam, mm -hmm. Michigan, anyway. Because Carmen Studer's 30-year-old based son was drunk and came on the stream and then i went into like um like matchmaker mode i was like Thank you. <laughs> you have a girlfriend he was like no and then I, for some reason your name came up and then we're like do you have a job do you like me Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my he's very much love me so there you go i'm just gonna go hide <laughs> every time you all go into matchmaker mode <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, to be continued. Midwest finest. Kiana's voice reminds me of the blonde white girl from Mad TV. Who's that? I don't know. I oh, know. um, oh my God. I think she was also on. Hold on. Let me I'm trying to remember. What's up? I think I know exactly who's Alexa, talking about. Victoria, who's the blonde man? white girl from Mad TV. Which one? <laughs> uh, Nicole Sullivan. Oh. I think that's I think that's what we talked about. I totally hear it. I, I that's so funny that he brings that up. I totally hear it. God, I used to love Mad TV. Me too. Yeah, I liked it you way better than Mad TV. <laughs> Man. I miss that show. Was so good. Dagger. Christine reminds me of Jill St. John <laughs> from Diamonds Are Forever. Yeah. Diamonds look at you, especially in Texas. Okay, who is Jill St. John? Yeah. Ooh, well, they're out. The Diamonds are forever, like a James Bond movie. She was hot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, now she's old. Well, <laughs> he's talking about the young version, of course. I'll take it. Yeah, that movie. So it would be from that movie, right? Is that a movie? Diamonds oh, yeah. Okay, okay. It is a James Bond. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. I oh, my it's, God. Uh, I do see it. Jill St. John, hello, nurse. Oh, okay. wow. <gasps> oh, yeah. I see it too. Oh, oh my God. I she see is it like too. stunning. Give Chrissy, yes. give Chrissy a haircut. That's her. Yeah. yeah, it's in the cute little nose and everything. Yeah. I love it. Wow. Your hair is way better. Yeah, your hair is better. Hair is better. Your hair is better. I agree. Wow. Yeah. And I like her pointy boobs. Yeah, <laughs> so classy. Ooh, we love a pointy <laughs> boob moment. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh wow look at her classy black and white moment oh oh my god i literally did the same pose by the pool in vegas yes yes she's your spirit animal you are her lady. i can't go back to short hair though mm -hmm. i can't i mustn't no no, no your your hair hair i'll never do that again either don't, don't touch all. it yeah it's it's it would be career suicide mm-hmm <laughs> I had short hair once when I was a kid and it was a terrible decision. It's one of those things where as a kid, like you're like, mom, I want to do this this one time. And yeah. they try to talk you out of it because they know it's a terrible yeah. idea. My <laughs> mom cut my hair into like a punky bowl yeah. haircut for my entire childhood. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I have one of those like boy pixie cuts. I had oh, one of those when I was like 12. Mm -hmm. I had, on me. People like when I was wearing uh, my because I'm a big Steelers fan, and when I would wear my Steelers clothes, and like people would think I was like a boy if they just quickly saw me because I'm wearing these oversized oh, like. And then I had I had that pixie cut, and I was only like 12 years old, and I remember some random dude calling me a boy, and I was like, "That's it, I'm growing my hair out, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing girly clothes." I was over <laughs> it. <laughs> I bet you could pull off a pixie cut, though. You have the type of face that it would actually look yeah, really good on you, which is yeah. rare. You can pull it off. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> not not I, everyone can. In college, just because I could do a short haircut doesn't mean that I should. And me and my sister for years were like, wow, look at us with our great faces. The mark of a great face is you can pull off a short haircut. All the while, no one's taking us out. You know, like nobody's. So, I want to see a picture of short hair, Chrissy. I bet you could pull it off. Me too, kind of. I bet you could. Only. I feel I've like seen it. you have you to it? have kind of like a like high cheekbones and like a sort of a chiseled jawline to pull mm. off. My like, mom, short hair. my mom has ne has n <laughs> not had short hair for I don't know thirty mm -hmm. years, and mm. she she looks like Billy Idol, but it works. It works okay. on your mom. Yes, yes. it does. I've yeah. wanted really cute. years. I've wanted Miley Silas like Wrecking Ball era hair. I right. don't oh, yeah. know. I, I always wished I could be as hot as like um, Mariska Hargitay in Law and Order SVU when she oh, had her short had hair. A little like, yeah, She's so hot, honestly, back then, and I cannot pull off that look. At all. Winona Ryder was another, but you also have like a little chiseled face. I feel like it would work. I don't know. Nice, I don't but know. I think um, you need the personality to like. You've got to know that you can pull it off see, somehow. That's, I don't know you're that. right, and yeah. I'm too. I'm too shy, and like right. the last time I cut my hair short was to try to get my curls back. Uh, because I had bleach damage at the ends. So I went from like almost hip length and cut it up to like here. Oh, and wow. I just, mm -hmm. I 
it, it, yeah, I was like, just get long again, please. <laughs> just waiting for it to grow out. You're like, I'm still yes. keeping a ponytail until it grows. That's what I did. I, yeah. I, I had my hair in a ponytail for like almost a whole year straight. And then I was like, okay, now I'm comfortable wearing it down again. It got long mm -hmm. enough. <laughs> no, I never wear my hair down. I don't know why it's down tonight. I've it's so cute good. Down, though. It looks exactly. good. Yeah. Yeah. When you first popped on here, I never see you with your hair down. I'm like, is that her? I don't <laughs> like wearing so it down. Different. I don't know why. Well, and it's I also cute. chopped, I chopped my bangs myself and I have like bald spots from getting hit by a car it's like a whole mess but wait what, well, what? Oh, I, was like... I think it looks good yeah when, it when i was 14 on my motorized scooter <laughs> i i got ran under basically and I, the, the car window ripped out my a chunk of my hair over here i'd have staples Aww. so Jesus. Oh my it goodness! Was really, it was really hardcore. Um, Holy crap! No, I not not bald spots. One bald spot oh, over here. I try and cover up. I was but, gonna say I don't, I've never noticed it, and I've seen you in person many times. So you're, yeah, it's like well, not noticeable, you. but it's wow, just one one little place. But yeah, and my hair's thin because probably all I eat is candy. So. <laughs> Well, for doing your own bangs, though, that looks really good because mm -hmm. doing your own bangs is risky as well. Uh, it was risky and oh, it risky. was feeling driven, but I did it. And uh, it's, so it's far, good. So, right. so not only did you cut your own bangs, you'd cut them while you were drinking tequila. Oh, that is you guys ready for short haired me? <laughs> yes. 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 So that's risky. Okay. Hold on. Hold, please. <laughs> Hold on. <gasps> When I was 13, my dad let me perm my hair, and that was definitely the worst decision I ever made. Oh, my <laughs> God. I look like a poodle because it was like Aww. this was back when perming was not. It had that weird smell, and it was just like ringlets. Oh, <gasps> oh, God. oh, oh this. my I gosh. Love this. What? Rissy. <laughs> this You're is a vibe. So cute. Oh, my God. This okay. is a like look. Marilyn Monroe. Rissy, you're adorable. I say Midwestern. I used to be a Midwestern mom. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. It's like Gwen Stacy, like it, it before, not the Spider Verse version. It's like the, yeah, I don't know. I'm just getting like before no. they gave her that stupid side shaved. Head yes, thing. exactly. Oh, I hate yes. that. I <laughs> do not oh, think yeah. this is your look, Chrissy. I think you look know. are in your moment now. Yeah. yeah. You look like Adeline from Great right. Guys and Dolls. Oops. Like. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I it have still no works. Thousands of Facebook for look. that. Yeah, your hair, yeah, hair now is perfect. Yeah, yeah you're a I long hair. It was very short. Hair. Perfect. Wow, and red is red short is hair, Chrissy. It was cute, but I your also hair have like a bob, a, a blonde bob too. I had a long bang with like short up the top. Oh, yeah, wow. I should do a whole montage. Yeah, we're Wait, gonna you need to see plus eight hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. She yeah. had the worst hair ever. She you had the, the she started the Karen hair. I feel like she did. I, she, can gone. I can I ask for so a manager bad. haircut? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So manager, please. And then people made fun of her for it, so she got like ten thousand dollar hair extensions. I remember. Oh my god, ten thousand yeah. dollars! Oh, I remember seeing crazy. it on like a People magazine or something, like ten thousand dollars for hair extensions. I'm like, I think they just like ripping them crazy. off, which is hilarious. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I had like sewn in, not sewn in, like those extensions, which actually make your hair grow. That's why I had them before. Really? And they were like twelve hundred, and they lasted right. a long time. Right. Damn. Like a year. Wow. So, 10, wow, that's yeah. actually worth it. Way over, especially if it's making your hair grow. Yeah, yeah. They see huh? a celebrity walk in and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yep. yeah." It's gonna be like eight thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, really <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All your money, brand. All right, let me pull through a couple of these push-ups. Fighting the final boss in Zelda, Tatsuki. Wish me well. Good luck. You got this. Good luck. Good, Good luck. luck with Tatsuki. You got it. <laughs> Bad. Healer is Leanne single asking for my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, I eat snatch now though. Wow! You. Happy Good Pride! You. There you go. <laughs> oh, I do like girls, but I don't like anyone okay. now. Aww. Well, healer, you keep well, sending healer. those Bucky's boxes, and I might put in a good word for you, Leanne. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy, <clears throat> I think. Oh. <laughs> So what is Leanne's wow? Ever a lot of thirst for Leanne tonight. What is Leanne's type? She's quite the dish. Tucker Carlson is my type. Ooh, <laughs> he's, Ooh. Type. he's married. He's That's my true. type. Yeah. <laughs> but a poor one because dating rich guys is. I don't want to do that. 
It's a hassle. A poor Taco Carlson. Butter sticks are the new white people food. Thanks, Melanie. There we go. Um, All right, we're gonna make this a thing. That was delicious. Mangus, everyone needs. <laughs> I to just assumed they were definitely white people food crazy. butter. <laughs> Even if you're not lifting heavy, just drink tons of water. Try at least once if you train. I'm not training. Yes it. and Yo. no, but I cannot supplement creatine. It breaks my skin out so bad. I've heard I that. Get cystic that. acne. If I if I supplement creatine, I just can't. Autistic do it. acne. No, cystic. Oh, well, that too. Autistic. <laughs> I get oh, autistic man. acne if I if I supplement. It's crazy. <laughs> autistic oh. acne, like Starry Night. Oh my god, Happy dude! Play, doctor, uh, LMA, send Dylan Mulvaney a bottle of Dorothy Lynch. Mm. What? Oh, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Probably. Jake has brought in lots of cheap ingredients in our food. Just saying. Yes, we know yeah. this. Leo food Fisher, sucks. wow! Thanks for the super chat. Moments in simp history yesterday. See Sabrina with Audrey Hepburn early in the movie. Audrey watches party camera close up. I say, Melanie Mack tonight. Keanu washes her hair. Jennifer <laughs> Connelly shows up. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, like her. Totally. Oh, we love Jennifer Connelly. Oh my God. You yes. David Bowie. She's Connelly. in the labyrinth with David Bowie. We love How her. you do look that like her. Sweet. Chrissy looks like young Carol Burnett. I'll take it. Thank you, Dan Halen. Hmm. Carol. Hello. <laughs> Start. Chrissy is now a blonde girl. Frank will have a tux after the wedding. He needs to practice his drunk Connery imitation. Drunk Connery. <laughs> Rough like your mother likes it. <laughs> I'll take the <laughs> right bit for 200. It's <laughs> still alive. Brittany Vinci cut her hair off. No, Did she, she actually do it? it? No. Oh. Really? I, really? I, I know she had that picture. Yet. She she was talking about it. I didn't know if she actually did it. What's up, Power Greg? Power K, Greg. What's up, pups? Hope you gals are doing good. We're doing good. I oh. I think I told her if she cuts it short, she's gonna have to straighten it more often because yep. having longer hair gives you more options in terms of like if you have yeah. textured hair. You now, can if get I if I were to offer a go. suggestion, I think a nice um like long layered uh curly cut. That specifically, like certain, there are certain salons that specialize in curly hair, and they will give like these really nice, mm -hmm. um, long layers that make it where it's got so much like volume and movement, but she can still retain the length. So I would, yeah. if I were her, that's what I would do. Yeah, retain that length. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah that's, long. that's what's up. I like it long. I like it long. Too. <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> you don't Aren't we all? I don't know if it's just me, but if. But yeah. if I had to say, I think Keanu has Zoe Dashnell look down. Kiki, throw those specs on and see what I'm talking about. I see that I a little bit too. I feel like yeah. that's every five, six brunette with blue eyes. <laughs> very clean looking. I get it all the time. You know who else I get to um, my entire life? If I have a... And I don't look one thing like this person. Tell me what you think. Kristen Stewart, I could maybe see when I'm depressed. Mm. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I get. I used to get that all the time. Or oh, yeah, Jennifer she does Lawrence. I like. You look like a really Jennifer Lawrence. I don't Lawrence? get Jennifer Lawrence. I used to get it constantly. I don't see that at mm -hmm. all. No. I don't see it either. No, I see Jennifer all. Connelly. I see. Yep, Jennifer Ethan Zoe Deschanel a little bit, but I not haven't Jennifer gotten Lawrence. it in a long time. Maybe I was. I don't know. Maybe I was like a little. Maybe my boobs were bigger or something, but I would get. I'm like Jennifer Lawrence makes absolutely mm -hmm. zero sense to me. I don't see that at all. No, I agree. Your voice, like maybe like some of your mannerisms. Maybe, maybe when she was like mentally ill in um, yeah. in, in that movie uh, Silver, Silver Lining. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Like um, that. And yes, I don't know. No, <laughs> I used to get it all the time. Never anymore. Now it's uh, Zoe because she's got bangs and she's. Uh, yeah hmm. yeah i don't see that i don't, don't have such different faces mm -hmm. i guess if I, I well also maybe since i had my my uh my micro my eyebrows microbladed i guess if i didn't have my eyebrows on maybe possibly but like i don't know i used like to get you have a much pointier like you have a cute like cute little pointy nose your chin yeah. is right. more, i don't more see yeah your chin's yeah. more defined yeah, yeah oh, more defined or your voice uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think she's unattractive. I just don't think I look like her. But I haven't right. gotten. Yeah. Maybe it's because you both look like you always just woke up. <laughs> yes, exactly. And we probably did. Well, I probably <laughs> did. Keanu, were you the first female action star ever? That is an important question because she was the first. <laughs> That's true. Mm. Ah, I wish. 
right, we're gonna get to this, and then we're gonna move on to the, our next topic. Have you chicks seen all the warnings about ramen noodles? It's linked to stomach cancers, and it has the skull and crossbones what? warning. Damn, what? thanks, MP Solid. I have not <laughs> eaten ramen since college, so no. I have ramen noodles in my. Me too. I eat the cup though. Is that the right same? Now. Is it different? Oh, it's the same. It's so I used good. to crush up the dry noodles and put the seasoning on it, and then just mm -hmm. eat it as a dry snack. That's what I did too. I, do so I love it like that. So yeah. good. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not much of a ramen guy anymore either. No. Mm, I love ramen. college for sure. It's so cheap. It's, yeah, it's oh, definitely it's... not good for you, but man, it is cheap. Yeah. Like a dollar <laughs> a packet. Yeah. For the taste too. Yeah, it's not bad. Add a couple of eggs, some green onions, maybe a little yep. bok choy. Yeah, Are you guys familiar with Eliza Blue? Yes. yes I only so found out about her because she's all, you know. So she was sort of people. found out to be a fraud and yeah. she sort of fell off. Uh, the public eye for a few months and now she's resurfaced rebranded different profile photos slightly longer hair you know the whole nine yards and I guess she's specifically coming after Daily Wire and Candace Owens because Candace Owens ripped her a new one did a bit, sort of an expose what was this January when this was trending January February yeah. it's freaking June exactly. now and um it's interesting because I, and I am blocked from Eliza. So we're going to have to. I love how many people have blocked you. Famous <laughs> people. <laughs> Chrissy, I say block. <laughs> it's very I hard. Don't have, I don't have the energy to do an alt account. So, um, yeah, maybe You're someone busy. else. Right You're busy there. I'm too busy and fabulous. To yeah, no, we, alt are we account. sleuthing? Let me Let's see. I don't think little, she's blocked Because me. I want to see her post. So. What's funny is that she's kind of offering like, oh, I'll show, I'll show Daily Wire all the proof. I'll show Daily Wire my medical records, all this shit. And it's like, why don't you just post all that shit and yeah. leave it up to the individual to make their own mind up? She doesn't get much interaction. 18 likes in one day. Oof. That's like Keith Olbermann numbers. <laughs> she has like 300,000K people. It's crazy. Yeah, she, well, 249 now. I bet a bunch of people were like, oh. fuck you, <laughs> and bailed mm -hmm. when everything happens. Like, if you want to talk about it, talk about it. Why does it have to be the Daily Wire? Why couldn't it be someone smaller? Why do you have to go for the Daily Wire? Thing. Yeah, I mean, even this Daily Wire it's tweet so... that you're referring to isn't that. It's like, scummy, dude. It's really not that. Um, Maybe it's because everybody Popular trusts the Daily or... Wire. Yeah. They do? Ooh, okay. She's got a thread here that says, um, oh my God, this is so long. The Daily Wire convinced me to break my anonymity and step forward for the first time in the press as a survivor of human, tra human trafficking in April 2020. They covered my journey as a survivor and as an advocate in many ways over the course of multiple years. Then the that at Real Daily Wire and affiliates published false information and boosted internet rumors in an attempt to destroy my personal life and career. Around minute 57 of the video, I make the Daily Wire an offer to come get the truth. Daily Wire subscribers deserve to know the truth. The survivors who witnessed this behavior from a media outlet deserve an apology. How is this allowed to happen? And it's a video of her with her longer hair and her face looks weird. <laughs> she's really my, my guess, I was no like, I bet she's gonna trans herself and try to make a comeback. Yeah, no one gives That's a fuck. A bad guess, actually. Yeah. Oh wow, she like lost weight. I when think. When in too. doubt, trans oh, really? it up. Yeah, yes. she's like lost weight she and grew her hair up, so now she can come back. If it was that important, right. you would have did this when everything was happening. Yeah. Like why right. now? Yeah. Right. Oh, please, dude. You would have did it with Shane Cashman. Right. Right. She had time to get her shit yeah. together now and. You're right. Like, and so you just your story straight away. with the other yep. fucking weirdo girl that said her roof cost fifty thousand dollars, but it was just leaking. Whoever that bitch was. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, Who's she was. Girl? Uh, I forget her name. her name. Another liar. It was another <laughs> liar. Another, another like, one. Another like victim uh, okay. person. Wow, yeah, they're all yeah. victims, aren't we? <laughs> yes. The new yeah. thing. People that said that they donated to that roof thing were asking her for proof, and she never yeah. gave it to any of them nope. that I know of. And, and she was going, oh, I need 50 so. grand for this gutter. And then all the yeah. dudes in the chat or in the thread would be like, that costs like 25 bucks to fix. Why yeah. do you need 50 grand? Yeah, I never understood <laughs> blindly Wait, donating. Oh, it's because she was getting sued, right, by... <laughs> And they, her own they family. Oh, that's like, right. Was, yeah, that's why she's asking for it. the exact amount right. that her family was I suing forgot. for. Yes, it was Annie Lobart. Thank you, Carmen. 
Okay. Oh, I love Annie Lobart. <laughs> no idea who that is. <laughs> yeah. So sounds like a, a classical singer. Yeah. That's who like solidified Elijah's story. So uh, sorry if I don't like jump at believing you exactly. Yeah. Right. Do you guys mm -hmm. see her coming back? Like what would have to go down for her to make a comeback? Proof. Ooh. Like real <laughs> yeah, proof. Yeah. Proof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that yeah, proof's yeah. the answer to everything. Or either proof or her just like stepping forward and saying, you know what? I did I over exaggerate this stuff. I lied. It was really crummy of me. I really like uh, just she just needs to just own up to what's going on. Own it yeah. up to it. It's going to yes. have to be yeah. proof or truth. One of those. Yep. Yeah. Mm. yeah absolutely. I'm just sick of people saying about shit like this. Like, that's just so fucked up. So just say that you're lying or show yeah. proof. Yeah. Like, she could have just been a trafficking a trafficking advocate yeah. against trafficking. Yeah. Like, I couldn't phrase that properly. Without going into that whole thing. Like, you don't need to make yourself a victim to help people, you know? Exactly. Yeah. No, if you don't no. talk about yeah. it. Don't yeah. bring it up. It's like the just say just famous athlete of, of human We're trafficking, trafficking I guess. Mm. Yeah. And her explanation, I didn't I didn't look too far into it, so I'm totally talking out of my ass here. I don't know that much about it, but I did when watch a clip when she was talking about the time she got trafficked and it just sounded like catfishing. Yeah. She's like I was trafficked because they were yeah. using my photos online and I was like that's catfishing. That <laughs> well, happens to no, like everyone. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's That's a whole that. MTV show about it. Look into it. Yeah. Right. yeah. All right. I That's... guess we've all been trafficked. So. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Trafficked guys. Guys. there today. Your picture or... All right. Let's see what comes your up when you search your for Eliza Blue on uh, Twitter. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ella Irwin confirmed she's out as Twitter's trust and safety had. This happened after Daily Wire noted being censored and Elon Musk said that was wrong. Funny how it wasn't wrong when Twitter and, and Erwin did that for Eliza Blue and banned ma many others. Yeah. Like our good friend, Brittany Venti. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Anna, that Star Wars girl got some shit. I'm not sure how many times I have to tell Team DeSantis this. Because <laughs> Bill Mitchell cosplays as Eliza Blue doesn't make him a biological woman. <laughs> she yeah. looks beautiful. Hilarious. That's funny. Oh, that's good. Really funny. Who anybody, are better? <laughs> anybody who still believes Eliza Blue is a victim of human trafficking is not a serious person. Wow. <laughs> oh, Brittany. <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah, Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. Um, wow. <laughs> Oh, weird. weird. Let's not forget who started the Eliza Blue situation and also never forgot bimbos who did a horrible job with our hard work. Oh, is Devango blaming Brittany? What? I can't, I can't understand that. Well, Aiden he got 14 whole, 14 whole people were impacted oh, by that. Right. Okay. I mean, is it so hard if it did happen to like provide any type of proof of anything? That That is the confusing part. Right. For me, like if somebody were to come at me and be like, hey, that thing you said, that doesn't sound right. And if it really happened to me, I'd be like, no, here's the receipts. Right. You know, yeah. Hey, here. Yeah. Yeah. No, this this is what happened. happened. Hello. Right. Very, very cut and this dry. This girl, Jill Martin, uh, believes Eliza Blue is a sec. Where, Jill, where were you in January? Yeah. <laughs> That's when she needed the support. That's I think she was too. supporting her. Oh, oh really? Like she was in the thread sometimes. Wow. But Eliza's the one that said, like, a famous person did it and all this shit. Like, you didn't have to say that, for one, because now people really want to know, like, if they're still famous and stuff. Like, why are you not right. so she, saying something? She, to be so incensed by something that, that you, like, feel like a cause of, <coughs> you make something yeah. up. Is that, I mean, is that what I'm gathering here? I guess she just got so famous. Is that the new hairstyle? Yeah, this is her new, and no, she's, like like her, she's wearing a shirt like that I'm sure just coincidentally looks like a trans flag. Yeah. <laughs> right. Eliza Mold. The Daily Wire convinced me to break my anonymity and step forward for the first time in the press as a survivor of human trafficking in April 2020. Mm. And then here's a trans flag person. I'm proudly friends with Eliza Blue. She has never hurt me and has gone, again, where were you? Yeah, You should have been speaking out in, in January when everyone was coming for her. I mean, it's nice, Ooh, but geez, it's man. not enough. Also, was know. she trafficked or was she groomed? Because I feel like there's a, when she was explaining the other stuff, it sounded like, grooming i don't, I don't right. know i am confused by the whole thing i think she's whatever she needed to be in the moment yeah it, to get the most uh attention which is just so bizarre to me that you would do that about that stuff that's how i'm like have you ever actually talked to anyone who was trafficked like because yeah. that's weird 
if you have and you're still alive. Right. Like, yeah, that's some dark shit there. Yeah. Well, like, and Leanne, I remember talking to you on this same show about the same stuff. Like you, mm -hmm. whatever organization you were working with to try to help people reached out to hers. Right. And she didn't want to help. Or something like that. Oh, I don't that's know if anyone one. I knew reached out. Yeah, to what's her. up, E Rocks in the chat? That story. Oh, it maybe. Wasn't forced to be in those videos that she's trying to get yeah. taken down all the time. The exactly. This was yeah, all didn't she voluntary. Yeah, was she paid to be in one? Paid, yeah, like yeah. a music video? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. She like signed a, a release and everything. Yeah. I yeah. agree with Douglas here. Weird. I think it was her excuse for being an escort. It's. Yeah. I think yeah. it's totally okay to look back at a time at your life and be like, "Wow, I really wasn't yeah. proud of that," and like, "I'm happy that I changed." Regret that's it. totally. Right. Yeah, oh. that's totally but, fine. Do but that. Then yeah. To call it trafficking is no. well, a, an insult to people who are actually trafficking. Exactly. Exactly. Insult to, you to don't your say fellow that. escorts. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. it just makes everybody that was trafficked. It just right. like lessens their story. It, it, exactly. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a shitty thing to do. It's also like girls that lie about grape and stuff like that. Yep. It's like, I was about exactly. to say for everybody. Yep. So I, right, it's, I regret sleeping with this guy. Therefore, yep. I was assaulted. You know, yeah, which is right. like, dude, come on. We all, there's, uh, maybe not for all of us. Life. Like, if that's right. not true, you're ruining that guy's life because now that word's yeah. attached to him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. To, and I know, and I know where that, that desire comes from. Like, wow, I, I slept with someone or I was pressured into sleeping with somebody that I wish I didn't. And so you feel very powerless in that situation. And then like the way the, the manipulative way to get the power back is to be like, Oh, I was, I was graved. Oh, I was, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's mm -hmm. a very fleeting way to get your power back, but that's not lasting. But, that's right. The women right. who tend to do that are not comfortable in their own skin. They're not like, yeah, it uh, actually, that's really why people don't believe women a lot of the time. Yep, because Which sucks because yeah. you because like you want yeah. to, but yeah. then mm -hmm. shit like that comes out. And I know those cases are much smaller cases, but they get a lot of attention. Yep. And then because of that, people don't believe the women that things have mm -hmm. happened to, and right. they don't come forward. So yeah, it's, right. yeah. they're so. underreported still. It's it's the way to handle it is like just choose better next time. Just have be a like, white oh, claw. Wow. Right. Call it a day. Have a it's white claw. Fine. Regroup. I know. Go to yeah. go to therapy. Figure out why you do the things that you. Why do. Why did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> or why did you? You know, like, like oh, good God, I've slept with many in a fucking douche canoe for crazy. Yeah, right. Like, Never did it cross that. my mind to say that they raped me. Ever. I agree. Like, I was going to say, like, do you really need power back in that situation, or did you just make a silly decision that nobody's yeah. going to talk about later? Right. I understand maybe if you're in like a really public eye and it got publicized somehow that you did something, but even in that case, it's like, oh shit I, I screwed up who cares yeah, like is yeah. it right. do you sleep with them no <laughs> and, on right. the, and on the man's responsibility you got to know if the woman is like actually comfortable are you too drunk is she too drunk yeah, yeah i gotta you know. sign it, shit it, now there's, like, there's stuff with them too that they should take you know choose you choose, know what choose wisely. I, maybe maybe we shouldn't do this tonight but like mm -hmm. I've had another time. I've had yeah. many a one night stand and never called it rape. I heard there is like athletes know. now and celebrities that will make a woman sign <gasps> consent because I don't they blame don't. them. They kind of have no, to. Yeah. Yeah. They, are, actually. they have to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is so weird. Like you're about to bang and they're like, all right, well, can you sign? <laughs> 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 There's actually an app someone. for it. There's an app yeah, for really? it. Came out years ago. It's like, it's, it's an app specifically for sexual consent. I swear oh, to God. That's it's like hysterical. Oh, there's but nothing then, more sexy than yeah. right. Like, by the way, could you type your name and email and, and Twitter handle into this consent? Yeah, form. that's it's so on this weird. Oh, and, it goes, just... goes, and then it goes. I don't know why I know this. Why do I know this? Uh, oh, we did it on a podcast that we could text with me and Alan Fuchs. We would t like type it in. And it's like you now have consent, but consent oh. also could change in the middle of boning. So right, like what really, if the middle you say not cool stop. with, yeah. Right. So if an right. athlete has someone sign oh consent God. to bone, there has to be something in that that says you may not change your mind. Yeah, <laughs> it's got to be like it. rules and regulations. <laughs> there. No, it's that's not that is very untoward. It cannot be that way. Just read <laughs> vibes, people. Listen, just be in tune with people. Vibes. If they're sleeping, don't do it. Yeah, we almost right? we have almost overcomplicated things. Like in yeah, a lot really, of different yeah. realms of life. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it Everyone's sucks because I feel like if a guy's going to be a piece of shit, he's going to be a piece of shit. Like I remember one time 
I went home and this, this guy's not a piece of shit. I went home with this one guy and like literally halfway through us hooking up, like we were making out, not all the clothes came off yet. And I was like, dude, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. This was like the nicest guy ever. He stopped. He's like, it's all good. And he let me sleep in his bed and he didn't touch me at all. And, and like, that is a know. situation where you changed your mind about consent. Yes. Yeah. And he was a, and nice he was a gentleman. Yeah. He was so cool about it. And then uh, I went home the next morning and he wasn't like a dick. He wasn't like, I can't believe he did that to me. Yeah. He was like a, just like a like a human being. He was right. like a person. Right. Because there's way more of the guys that are like, well, that's shitty. And then they try to guilt trip you into it anyways. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. That would never guy. work with me. That would never no. work. It, no. no. If you're strong with yourself, yeah, it doesn't it work. It would make me not want to fuck them ever again. I'd it's be like, you sexy, yes. are weird. Like, yes. no. Like, if you get mad about it, that just freaks me out. Like, Any guy not, who mentions blue balls? Yeah. Yeah, the, like go oh, no, blue balls. Oh, so there's a bathroom over there. You can drink yeah, all like, my hair. I don't care. Just don't fucking touch don't me. Know, if you get tested about that, <laughs> mm -mm. that's really turn off, dude. I would, agree. Would never talk to you again. Period. I'd be like, yeah, you're fucking weird, dude. No, like it's not that deep. Like yeah, just no. wait till next time. But yeah. you do that, there ain't gonna be a next time. So fuck that. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's Agreed. gross. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's not like you're gonna call him if he no, made that's you like desperate it. shit. That's a turn off, dude. Like fuck yeah. that. Get Desperation mad about it. is a bad look. Real that's bad. weird. That's a big like, turn off. It never looks good to be desperate, for Christ's sake. Mm -mm. No. no. I'd be like, wow, you're a desperate loser that can't control your emotions. No. No thanks. Yeah. I'm good. Oh men. Good God. See, there's something to be said for when you go on a date with a gal, you know, if you're not sure you're gonna hook up, or even if you even if you think you are, just jerk off before. You'll have a clearer <laughs> head. You won't be yeah. all yeah. Oh my god, it's like don't go to the grocery store when you're starving. Yeah, like, don't yes. go grocery shopping when no. you're hungry. Problem <laughs> solved. Like, yeah, just get it over with. When you're super horned up. Don't do it. Wait yeah. and then get horned up after. <laughs> exactly. That is like a great way to look well, at what, that. What, what's a date? I don't know that I've ever you even know. been on one. Yeah, uh, I don't know. know. Like it is we're meeting up for drinks to like hook up, or I I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. Or did you the just first meet one that ever like home? took me on a proper date. He's a hundred thousand years old and probably <laughs> headed to hospice. But oh, you know, I'm amazing. I love you. Know, I don't know. No, no, I don't, I don't, don't know. think <laughs> like young dudes really like go on dates with you. It's like I want a bone, you want a bone. We're meeting for drinks. It's it's like a definitely thing. how it usually yeah. starts. Is you? I think it actually starts where you meet each other like at a bar or something, and then suddenly, yeah, you just want a bone. You just want to go home and have sex. And then after that, if they decide they like you, they start going on dates. Oh my That's god, I get crying men i win my single days they always cry more men have cried in front of oh, me well, i'm sorry that. after sex Wait, or what? during no time. not even they're like you're heartless i'm like i got you <laughs> what do you want why you are they know, crying what do, what do, what do, like well i made love i'm like you that was not making love homie oh because you didn't want to call him back or something or yeah i thought i do that too you wanted sex. Yeah. To get i go like yeah this was fun get out why do you <laughs> want to <laughs> Roles are usually reversed in that situation. And most of the time, it wasn't even fun. In my single days in college, I would either want to eat chicken nuggets or have sex. And <laughs> I would have the time. I'm like, oh, I bet you You're know. You're like an 18 year old boy. <laughs> Exactly. You're you're every guy's dream girl is yeah. what it is. Then, like, then I they would... start to cry at me and go like, "We used to." I'm like, "Yeah, what do you want?" You're like, "I'm a Scorpio. Cool. Get with the program." And I agree, oh, but I can't down. take all of this emotion. They all wanted to fall in love with you, Keanu. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. When but you back away, out. they like come to you. See, I don't and like emotions either. Heart. I don't like that shit. I don't like talking about it. I don't like having serious talks. I don't like being mushy. And like, I just don't want to do any of that. It depends. I, I love, like it, I but after a while. Yeah. When you, you, exactly, when you fall in love like with someone. But I'm, I'm, always, yeah. I'm like, I don't want to talk about feelings and stuff. Give it some time. Have to have a little time. Yeah. No, got it. Whether like, you're the girl or the guy and you're super thirsty after fucking the first time and you're like, oh, okay, let's, let's, why aren't you calling me? Why didn't you can't be back right away this morning? Mm. There was a guy, he, he would, I'm like, girl. he was so hot. He was so gorgeous, but like, he would cry and read me songs and poet. I'm like, oh. I don't want to hear your. Is it like real or do they think that's just what girls want? And that's know. why they do I don't it. read no. Nicholas Sparks, nor yeah. I, will I, I ever. Either. 
With Visconti, I'm like, what? Well, you don't like? Okay, okay, okay. I try that. Because right, exactly. Love We're disgustingly <laughs> romantic, right, Chrissy? It's repulsive mm-hmm. in public. Yeah. You use the same voice for Bisconti as you do as, and then I started using for just dogs we would encounter on the street. Like, <laughs> I don't know, baby. <laughs> I can almost sound like like Adam Sandler, but cuter. No, well, and ready, also, I ready to puke the, the cuteness in August. Exactly. That's concerning about this guy. He treats me exactly like he treats his cat. <laughs> every morning, every morning he <laughs> plays like our favorite songs. He picks us both up, not at the same time, but at different times, and like dances with us. One in each arm. <laughs> That's no, no, not at the same time. And then he'll play Life Less Ordinary by Carbon Leaf. And then he'll pick me up and we'll day and like we'll like kiss and dance. And then he does the same thing with the fucking cat every morning. <laughs> so he won't stop biting me in the morning. He also bites the ear of his cat, which we play yes. in the same cat intro. Well, so that's I interesting. I realize. Wait, what's his cat know. song? What's the song for the cat? Oh God! Just whatever he. It's, oh, he, he likes Sade. That's what we sleep to. But what, oh, I don't know what that's he does. So he embarrassing! Does. I can't believe you admitted that. He um, has an interesting <laughs> fella. He's very <laughs> emotional. I like that. But then it's because you love him. Like if you don't have feelings for someone and they're trying to do that with you, it is. It's off putting. You're like, what the hell yeah. is this? It's, it's right. Right. It downright repulsive. Like that's how you know for sure. Your guitar you know. away, right? Please, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> guitar. No I poetry either. either. The poetry shit's weird. <laughs> I had yeah. one guy one time think poetry was fun, and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah, no. Poetry mm. is poetry. I was into poetry fun. when I was 11 and then I grew the fuck up and started. <laughs> I feel like a, a boy writing a poem for you is only cute in like sixth grade on a Valentine. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I get it. I get it. You choo choo choose me. Get a job. <laughs> yeah. Why are you always crying? What mm-hmm. is there to cry about? We're I don't taking know. shots. Please stop right. taking shots. <laughs> That's I've never had a guy cry before. I did date a guy where he like would want to hang out a lot the next day, but we were like, he was my boyfriend, but I guess I didn't like him that much because mm. I always wanted him to just go home the next morning, but then he would want to hang out for the day and like do uh, stuff. Yeah. Get out. I want to eat chicken nuggets and get in my pajamas. <laughs> Honestly, kind of, yes. I was like, I really want to eat like junk food and sit in bed now. I'm kind of hungover and I need you to leave. But he'd like yeah. want to go do stuff and I'd be like, I really don't want to do any of this. I, oh, I need yeah. to just get out. <laughs> and yeah. We didn't date for long, which makes sense because I realized like i I liked him, but I guess I didn't like him enough to spend a lot of time with him. So in my slam piece days, I found it highly offensive if they would try and stay even. Yeah. Let yeah. alone like try and what, okay. you brunch. Get out. <laughs> Please. Yeah, like well, brunch is not a thing in Hawaii, but they'd be like, Do you want to go to the let's go to the we're gonna go get some malasadas and go to the beach? And I was like, that sounds like literal hell right now. <laughs> it's like 90 yeah, degrees no, out, no. and I have had no fluids since the fucking eight beers I drank last night. Like that that sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> I'm oh, dead. Exactly. Yeah, I'm dead. Please get out. I need some Pedialyte and I need quiet. Exactly. I want a Pedialyte <laughs> and a dot. Ooh, get out. Melanie Mac, let's collab at Mochi Pop Entertainment. I don't know what kind of collab he wants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but if it involves mochi, that sounds good. Mochi's delicious. Sounds like he um, wants to make your mochi pop. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't know what that is, but I don't know. <laughs> I think it's food. I hope it's food. Let me get a 360 from you for you from you beautiful ladies. Reese, not for two dollars uh, now. The Xbox variety? I'm not I, like I don't have a yeah. Xbox so. controller. <laughs> yeah. You're making us Push Andersons up. look bad. I gotta yeah, sleep. Come like by more often. Mel, love you, Chrissy. Love you, push ups. Justin mm-hmm. Lingle. Uh, I was watching The Outsiders last night. Such a classic, great book, too. Reminds me of better days when we read normal books in school. Rest in peace, Patrick Swayze. Oh, what a Aww. man. Patrick Swayze, Swayze gone too soon. Mm-hmm. He, had a time life. he was like 60, right? Yeah, he was pretty young. Really? I thought he was yeah. younger than that. Was he in his 50s? That's what. Wow. I don't know. Oh boy, man, that's sad. Mm-hmm. Er, if that's if he was that young, 
I knew he was Jagger young, but I couldn't remember. Says that an emotional load is when a dude cries when he finishes. Ryan Long. That's funny. Oh my god, that would be terrible. That sounds right. awful. All right, Swayze he was cried when he seconds. came. Oh my god. Uh, Although that did happen to me once, and I don't oh know no. why. Can't explain it. I came and I started crying. And I oh, was like, you well, did. That okay. Well, no, no, yeah, mine. no. No one I'll else did for me. And it was like yeah. this weird, uncontrollable emotion. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck this is coming from. Wow. Like it just came out of nowhere. It was you, so bizarre. Did you feel positively towards the person or negatively? Yeah, it was with Nick. Oh, oh I was wow. gonna say yeah. was it with your man. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I guess that's how you knew. It was, it was just overwhelmed with emotion. Like this is the this is the man I want to come with for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's sweet if you love someone and that's yeah. happening. Right. Yeah, but tears make like, for a great lube. Yeah, <laughs> tears are great lube. Yes, <laughs> cry on yourself. Oh, yeah. really cool, though. I got a few tears. I don't think I've ever cried from sex, not even once. I don't know what that says about anything, but I never did. It's never either. happened to me before or since. I don't know what the hell it was. It was okay. really weird. <laughs> I did once, but it was only because it was very unhealthy and very bad and I needed to get out. And it was like, oh boy. Uh, oh. It was like a real you cry. Cried during yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Sobbed. Oh, and he no. didn't oh, think, shit. like, hey, this isn't good. I should stop. Did he keep going while you were crying? Right. Yes. Oh, oh my God. 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 I'm weirder for him. I but feel I was, like if somebody's crying, you stop. I was just crying yeah. and keeping it to myself. I wasn't like, you know. Oh. I was okay, just like, like, face down and just like <laughs> yeah, it was not good. Oh. It was not good. It was not a good time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trauma. Traumatizing. Yeah. Just trauma crying during sex. No big deal. Darren Murphy. Oh. Darian, Chrissy, your best race joke was after your purse was stolen. You were trying to explain who did it. And you said, race doesn't matter, but it's exactly what you're thinking. Mm. Yep. That was a fun that time. Was a good one. That whole bag stole $300 and a credit card out my purse while my Aww. fucking show was live. And she just walked right in and people walked accused right Compound of being she racist. Was, Everyone shook her, hand. shook her hand. Everyone was nice to her. Yeah. If and that's said, not, not racism, it I don't know It was because we weren't racist that this woman was allowed to rob me, my yeah. purse and it's a few true. other people. That'll so, teach you to not be racist. What, Lesson what learned. Is that? <laughs> what, He's what, trying what? to cultivate. You know, I think yeah. Eric, Eric, Eric just said, Gino gave her a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it Patrice O'Neill that made the joke of like, I'd rather be racist, seen as racist and alive than not racist and dead? Like he was talking about seeing like a white supremacist looking dude, like shaved head or whatever on the side of the street. Yeah. He's like, I'm crossing the street. Like that was, I don't remember the exact joke. I'd butcher it, but that was the premise of it. And that was I, Patrice O'Neill. I just listened to that clip this weekend. I'm not even kidding. You're spot on. That is hilarious. Very yes. good. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I was not in New Orleans. True, I was though. in uh, New York City. Yeah. Isn't it more important too? Like, if you have like outwardly racist people, then at least you see that that's who they are instead yeah, of not exactly. doing that. Exactly yeah. what we are, or what I always like, I'd say. Rather, who Nick. says that? Like, I'd rather have my Nazis in like plain sight, like, because then I know that's who you are. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. exactly. yes. And then it was, I think, oh gosh, who was it that was marching? They were marching for freedom of speech for Nazis to have their rallies. And when they were asked, like, why, why are you supporting them? It's like, because they have the right to say what they want to say. And if you right. go after them, we're going to be next. You don't mm. always have to support what somebody's mm. saying, but you should always support their right to say it. That's yes. for sure. Yeah. Always. Agreed. That's when they ban people. I'm like, I want to see the crazy like out there so we can see it, not push them underground. It's so like, important. Exactly. Yeah. yeah so yeah. we can it. look at that person and be like, oh, look at that asshole. Right. The deeper underground, like bad groups of people get pushed. Like, I think that's not beneficial for no. us at all. But yeah. they think it's so good because I don't see it on the surface. Exactly. Yeah. Why do you guys think I'm, I'm so nice not. to all my hyper autistic fans? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to get on anybody's note. <laughs> nope. You don't want to be in anyone's. What are those called? Uh, what the um, hell are those? Oh, manifesto. Called? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. Manifesto. manifesto. Yeah. Don't. Chrissy made me do this. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. No okay. thanks. I did this for Chrissy. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you definitely oh, don't. <laughs> yeah. The mayor manifesto. Yeah. Oh, it would be terrible. <laughs> Yeah, we're still waiting for the Tranifesto to be released. That's never going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I know. Are they going to put it out or not? No, they're not going to because they read it and there's bad shit in there. 
so they're not, not gonna put good. it out. <laughs> What's the oh the the trans shooter person? Yeah, from Nash. Oh, yeah, yeah she, it probably there. says I love Joe Biden. I'm doing this all for him. Exactly, and, it'll stray you know. from whatever narrative they need us to hear, so they can't put it out there. <laughs> yeah, which is also so obnoxious <laughs> too, by the way, because it's just this incredibly biased. Like they think that for some reason, because you're a certain group or you're a certain color or you're a certain religion, that you're not gonna there's not gonna be bad people in that group. That's just the mm -hmm. stupidest right. thing ever. Yeah, there's there's bad people in every group everywhere yeah. yeah it doesn't mean the entire group is bad it means there's mm -hmm. dickheads all over right <laughs> yeah i like said something about george soros and like that's anti-semite bitch uh, fucking george soros <laughs> is not a good jew okay that yeah, happens all the time, like that please. happens all the time like aaron will make a george Sor soros joke on our show too and like oh you're anti-semitic well oh please God, he's a I piece mean, of not, shit i don't care what he joke. is Oh, my brother's like, boyfriend is Jewish and I love him. The the sweetest doll ever. I mean, they're, they're the Jewish people. If you say something bad about anybody, you could say, "Ah, oh, well, I, Chrissy, you're a cunt." I th you, that's racist against red. What else is yeah. like, "Oh no." What? Yeah. And I would never say that. You're the not. chat would like you to say certain a few more times. I don't I don't know how to not pronounce my T's because it feels so weird and foreign and I don't like it. It makes me sound like you know, I got a certain type of thing. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't I like it. Like, I say sometimes I'll <laughs> say like cute. Martin. I'll say like Sir Ann. <laughs> Sir Ann. <laughs> Sir Ann. Sir Ann. <laughs> I think it might be an Asian thing that I just growing up in Hawaii and I didn't realize it because I was watching there's this guy Mikey Chen he's this Chinese guy and he does um strictly dumpling as his channel he just travels around and eats lots of stuff I love his channel I go down the rabbit hole but anyway oh, I thought you said strictly dumping <laughs> <laughs> yeah after he, eats, he poops and he's like look uh, at this dump yeah huge <laughs> <laughs> but I Peace. noticed that he pronounces his T's too. And I was like, oh, he's Chinese. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's an Asian Certain. thing. It's an Asian thing. It's a Hawaii. It's, and there's a lot of Asians. That's, are you supposed Hawaii. to say it? Certain? Certain? I feel like everything. Certain. Certainly. Certain. Certainly. 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 Do you do it too, April? Certainly. Certainly. I don't know. Certainly. Certainly. How do you, how do you say Certainly. kitten? Do you say kitten, kitten or kitten? kitten? I say kitten. I say kitten. 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 I say kitten. Yeah, kitten. Yeah. Yeah, kitten. Yeah. <laughs> And this I say, is kitten. I say kitten. Kitten. I say kitten, 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 button. I like really pronounce my T's. I didn't mm -hmm. notice it until I started streaming and people pointed it out to me. I'm Midwestern, <sighs> so everyone thinks that like my A's and my O's are really elongated. So I always hear a never ending stream of shit for that. So I hear the O's a little bit, but it's so cute. Min Minnesotan. Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> Bag, like people don't like how I say bag. Oh. Like, I have a bag of bag. Oh, bag. <laughs> how do you say like? What, I don't know what where you're from. If you, it always bothers me. Not bothers me, but I always notice it when somebody says like thinking. Uh, oh, thinking, thinking instead of thinking. without pronouncing the G's, like yeah. thinking, uh, seeing, uh, the uh, curtaining. <laughs> I don't know how. To, uh, I don't know how I made that a verb. Uh, um, okay. In curtaining. Da, 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 da. What what accent is that? I don't, know. I, don't know. I don't know, but I get you. That's one of my pet peeves is when people do that and they don't pronounce the G. <laughs> Dog me. I just go like, what is that? Feeling, feeling. I had a feeling. I know, like, now, I know there's different ways like, to do it. Cause like, like someone just said thinking it's like, there's some thinking. people are be like, there's two different types that don't pronounce our G's. There's thinking or thinking. thinking. Uh, you know, yeah, there's two different oh, ways you can do it. But I'm like thinking, thinking, if you're just like thinking. thinking, that's fine. But thinking, <laughs> yeah. get out of here. Get now out that face. you're saying it, I hate it too. I, I don't like hate it. That. I hate it. No. <laughs> I was that's feeling weird. very triggered by that way of thinking. <laughs> no, like, I know thinking? people like people get upset about how certain people say milk. Some oh, people say like milk. Or pillow. Some people say like pillow, and I think that's just pillow. elementary people. I don't know. <laughs> I say it like milk. Milk. <laughs> milk. milk. That's the only way I want to hear it from now on. Milk. <laughs> like crying for help. Milk. It sounds like a cat that wants milk. Milk. Oh, no. milk. Who is real milk. love? Oh, transsexual critic of gender ideology. Okay, she's right wing. Um, I'm not familiar with Rita Love, but this is interesting. Assaulted at the Pride Parade for wearing my MAGA oh. hat. They told me that my hate speech hat wasn't welcome here. 
They then proceeded to steal it and repeatedly screamed at me for, quote, being a Nazi. After fleeing, another man came up and hit me. And this is from two days ago. He hit ago. her with a fan. Hit her with a, a fan or a flag. <laughs> it, I think it was a little fan. I'm so, yeah, I, I'm welcome here. I am. This is a this is a transsexual person, a transgender person. I don't think. Yeah, so. I, think I don't so. know. No, I, th- no, I think that's just an ugly. Oh, oh, oh I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I, I really watched it earlier. I, I don't think trans. I think <laughs> totally 100 percent kidding. And she, I think, it's that's funny a woman, like a. Yeah, I think it's a woman. Born woman. Yeah. What is a woman? Either welcome way. Here. Here. You're not, you're not welcome here. Yes, I am. Not welcome here. I... What is happening? Oh, no. video. Uh-oh. Welcome here. Don't give a fuck about Trumpers. Local player wow. is welcome. Imagine this being this person like and taking yourself seriously. Here. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Why do people care so much? Jesus. I like how people say we don't give a fuck about yeah. Trumpers. Like, so you're just excluding people when you're all inclusivity. Hey, this is Nazi, Nazi right here. We don't, we don't take Nazis here. Oh, uh, wow. Imagine don't caring care that much about something. Aren't you supposed to be all inclusive and stuff at these rallies? Yeah, right. Oh my god! Uh huh. My <laughs> fucking shit right here. Let me cancel my other tabs. Do 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 do. They're only all like they want you to think the same. That's not inclu- like, only yeah. inclusive. Like I'm not a Nazi. They try to take my. Oh my god! What's happening? They're Nazis. really fast and loose Please. with the term Nazi. They're just they anyone are. is a Nazi. Honestly, they've taken all power and meaning what? away from what that word used to mean because yeah. they've overused it. Yeah, absolutely. It was such a horrific thing yeah, to be a go. Nazi, but oh, now it's terrifying. just like, oh, you don't agree with me? You're a Nazi. Yep. What? Oh, he's so mad. I can't believe this is a grown he's man so doing this. He's so, ah, he's so angry. Is that so the guy that weird. hit her? To no, me, the guy. A gentleman comes up and hits her with. I think it, it was either a flag or a fan. I thought maybe fan, but it's very bizarre. What? Is there like a, a weight requirement for these events? Oh, it seems like there is a <laughs> be above a certain weight to get in. Right, you must weigh at least this much. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need everybody to come a little bit closer. Like imagine this acting like this as an adult. Oh, oh. It's they're giving the they're giving Go her the home. finger. Whoa. Boo! What's rock and roll? Hmm. Wow, the hat is so scary. You need to calm down. All right, so you need to calm down. This is Manuel behind her coming up. Uh oh. Don't know. Oh, Oh, you. He says I'm gonna get on YouTube. You should be more inclusive. He's like, and accepting. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Watch you are a again. grown no. man, sir. You Yikes. are old. Yeah. yeah old. Imagine Yikes. acting like that. Oh, you will. You should be more inclusive and accepting. You should be more inclusive. Fan. Hey, that's an wow. Assault. That's an it's on camera. It's oh, on. No. These people have wow. no self control. Wow. They don't have self awareness. Nice, they have don't no fucking toddlers. Oh, my Just goodness. Just enjoy your pride time and fuck it. Like, who I cares? Know, drink, party, have a bacchanal. Wow. Be gay. Just when did Trump bad. say he hated gay people? Exactly. He never did. That's what, yeah. I don't I think mean, he did when? either. My, it's funny. I'm not like, I didn't vote for Trump and I don't like, I'm not like, oh, yeah, Trump, yay, endorsing him. But at any time someone brings up something horrific that he said or did, if you ever go back and actually watch what mm-hmm. it is, I'm always like, that's it? It's a major Why are people point of so skin- mad right. about that? It's like Chrissy's uh, fried chicken comment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, that is it, guys. Come on. Like, I mean, the guy, it was- I think at worst, like, he has a big mouth. Obviously, he's very loud and stuff. But you're right. Whenever you go back and look, it's really never that bad. No, like, when they he says worship him before. Sometimes. Nancy Pelosi like, worshipped Trump before. And then yeah. he ran for president. And, oh, my God, he's racist and terrible. Yeah. Well, yeah everybody loves behind Trump. you. It's, it's yeah. throwing the R behind you. You know, like, yeah. oh, I'm a Republican now. And that's how I'm running. Yeah. And, oh, suddenly you're Satan. Also, yeah. I think they, it's more his policy. It's a major point of contention with my brother and, like, my parents my parents you know like trump we're but we're like we, we're like a kooky family i'm eskimo mm-hmm. sisters, my brother for my my brother 
my <laughs> mother for Christ's sakes. But like, uh, they're very, very progressive, very inclusive, you know, my, but my brother's gay. He just can't get over them, uh, liking Trump. And I, I, mm. I if, if it's him, it's like, how could you vote for this man that has these sorts of policies and things like that? But if you look at it, I think he just makes jokes, but he doesn't really hate gay people. He's from New York. Right. 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 Yeah, I, yeah. He doesn't. So I, I don't know. Trump. Oh, wow. Gay. Plus Obama, a marriage between a man and a woman person. Damn, I didn't even know that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. he was. I remember mm -hmm. that. I remember during the, those elections. Yeah. I feel like he'll do anything to like be like like chic and like try and be popular. Like the most amount of people that can like like him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So he's a like whore maybe. I yeah, just kind of that's kind of all the politicians for the most part. I yeah, mean, yeah. we're being real. You do this for me, I'll vote this way, even though that's you've got to get the people. Like, yeah, yeah. And that's right. the thing too. Like with Trump, you know exactly what you're getting because he's telling you. He'll say yeah. it. With other right. politicians, they're so full of shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know how anyone trusts them, and they think Welcome like, oh yeah, they really care yeah, about us. Yeah, yeah, but good people things. will nitpick Trump. They'll nitpick mm -hmm. him about the vaccine. I mean, like I don't like how he handled the vaccine either. But I don't either. I but. think overall he was a net positive, you know. Yeah, he certainly so, was I, for the economy. Yeah. It was never better, you know. Yeah, and I then agree. people yeah. forget, like uh, Biden said things like, "Oh, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black," and stuff about like voter so ID and shit. Like that's what you yeah. about that stuff. Yeah, you know. I forgot he said that. And how is yeah. that not racist? Yeah, by exactly. Way? exactly. No. Yeah. And then he talked about the black children and his hairy legs. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I mean, a video of all that together. And I was like dancing around half naked so people would listen to it. Like everything he has said, I love I just what you put doing. it in the background. You're doing such important work, Leanne. I I appreciate it. It is true. I love Leanne's videos where she's like, "Oh, I've got Funny. something important to say. Here's my boobs." You know, like, <laughs> yes. I know if I have my boobs out, maybe you'll listen. Right. Yeah, that's why I do great. it. I it's mean, I get a few messages from people saying like, "I wouldn't have listened to it if it wasn't for that." So it, works. it makes people. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, fuck it. Um, mm -hmm. There are great compilation videos of the shitty things Biden oh said. That's that's what I forgot. That, Poor kids are just wild. as smart as white. Yeah, kids. I remember yep. saying that. What? Oh was, God! Yeah, what a douche! That, just mm -hmm. fall yeah. down. He and have the bill just carry you around. The he masses overlook that it. shit so fast. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> Like, what mm -hmm. the, they don't ever say anything about that, though, no. on the news. Or, never. Or the whole, no. the never. his son, the Hunter Biden shit, too. That's being thrown right oh under the rug. Oh, my God. But if yes. that was Trump's kid, he'd be in oh, prison. Oh he'd be out of there, you know, mm -hmm. all that. Yeah, the DOJ and the FBI, were, they uh, either the DOJ the told the FBI, already. or the FBI told the DOJ to completely call off the investigation yeah. into Hunter. It is hypocrisy at its finest. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that how yeah. ick. Um, notice how we don't hear how we don't hear about the 25th amendment all of a sudden oh which one is that I don't know <laughs> <laughs> quick somebody look <laughs> Someone, um, how we all just Alexa, got quiet what this is the president. 25th amendment okay it provides procedures for replacing the president or vice president in the event of death removal resignation or incapacitation mm -hmm. oh sure yeah, really yeah and I mean he's he, there yeah, mentally. well, because Nancy Pelosi left, so they want they were going to do that before, uh -huh. but now that Kevin McCarthy is the House up, Speaker, Anna? Anna! Hi, hi. 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 I just got home, so I have no idea what we're talking about. I don't know either. <laughs> you know, <laughs> politics, <laughs> fun you know. Know. We are so nothing exciting. Days that they manufacture it, Chipono. What's up, Hawaiians? Mm. Oh Chipono is like a Chipono. like a. They say chipono. It's like a Hawaiian greeting thing that they are like, yeah, it's like an exciting oh, Anna. thing that they say. Anna, uh, awesome. yes. th this might be the perfect way for Anna to celebrate Pride Month. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Happy Pride! I kind of love that. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I'm, I'm impressed with the costume. 
You know, that's nothing. I lived in San Francisco and I mean, I've seen the ones where it's like the entire thing is pride and it's got glitter and like special effects and lighting. So that was like basic bitch. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. and I was okay. like, I am not impressed. Not cool. <laughs> She's like, you gotta do more than that. Gay, <laughs> that. They're a straight ally person. <laughs> right. Allies. Gays go all out. That's that true. That's true. They for everything first. as a teen in the 90s we thought you gals wanted the over the top uh to prove your love romance being sensitive and simpish the music and movies of the time reflected it bonds like 112 come to mind oh bands like 112 come to mind i don't know 112 i don't either i don't know I, don't either. Either. I know 311 I know Blink One Eighty Two. Those are all the numbers. Yeah, some forty one. Some forty one. Aw, just be yourself. Yeah, I get what he's saying though. Back then, yeah, movies did re- really did say like, "Oh, you, we have to be so romantic, or they're not gonna like us," and all that. And it's even God. better yet to be like the shitty jock guy that just was I remember terrible. Garden State. To you. Wow, Melanie wins. Finish him. <laughs> um, Ben H M M M M M. I used to go to black neighborhoods and tell black men <clears throat> that it's not unmanly to use a condom. No, well, no. I feel like that's got to be a troll. That can't be yeah. real. If he really said that, I'd be like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> really, wild. just letting shit fly out. I didn't. It's funny because he definitely has OPI, old people immunity. Uh, he gets away with saying wild shit. Because he's right. been old for like a while now. It's a way of and sipping he... a lot of heads too. Yeah. I just I still think that's weird, man. I never sm- would smell a kid. Wasn't there a no, situation where he was giving a speech somewhere and he forgot that his sister wasn't his wife or something like that and tried to kiss her too? Do you recall oh, that? No! That was quite a while ago, like two oh, years no. ago. Yikes. Yep. Yikes. Mm. That's terrible. Let's see. Um you, Anna. Thank and you. I don't want the random dab. She's just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You didn't know. laughs> that's how I guess things from now on. That was a cute one. I was trying to remember, what was your, did you have a dust up with Ella G. Irwin? Me? Yeah. Yeah. No, the yeah. bitch got like me locked out for uh, posting <gasps> publicly available content about <laughs> Star Wars. Wow. Really? Seriously? Yeah. No, was she was replied year, to right? Nina. Like, so I got put into Twitter jail and I didn't even get, so I opened Twitter and I was commenting in the Flashcast group chat because we were about to start the show. And then all, so I checked it one second. The next second, I'm like going to go check the chat again. And I had to, you know, open my phone because my phone had locked. It hadn't even been 10 seconds. And all of a sudden there's this screen that says you're locked out because you posted copywritten content. And I'm like, I posted a picture of Thrawn from Star Wars Celebration. Everyone was posting. And then I, someone from Norway flagged me, said that they worked for Disney and that I was posting their like, copywritten content i'm like you don't even work for disney mofo but someone just with a hate boner was like exactly. I need. basically I and then as, when somebody put flags you for copyright they provide their real name their address their license and the way to appeal mm-hmm. it is you have to do the same and they can see all your information so mm-hmm. there's no real way it, unless you want to dox yourself oh right. fuck that like, wow yeah, okay. yeah exactly i was like fuck that Okay. And so, unless you want to dox yourself, Ella uh, didn't reply. They they didn't even give me an option to like delete it or to leave it up. They deleted it. They're like, it's gone. You're locked out. Slap on the wrist. You can come back in 12 hours. And so I came back and I posted about it. And she didn't respond to me, but she responded to Nina asking her to look at this. And so I was like, wow. you fucking bitch, you ignored me, but you responded wow. to Nina. You know, wow. like, bullshit. But but I, wow. He's gone. Bye. Bye. Felicia. Got you on some sort of shit list, like. <sighs> well, yeah. After everything with Brittany. Wow. Oh, sure. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Imagine caring that much about something that you've got to like report, like hating someone. I've never hated someone so much. I don't get. 
I don't get it. I don't get why you see someone post something and you're like, I've got to ruin everything for them. Okay. For me, yeah. I don't like something. Get off I just, the site. Yeah, I just yeah. away from whatever that thing is. Exactly. It's because they're trying to get you. They're trying to like get you to dox yourself. And yeah. I'm just like, eh. <laughs> Not yeah, is like, no, I'm I not an idiot. Him. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Mm. We got a fan of Keanu and glasses from mm. Ragnet is a person of glasses. Oh, my eyeballs were getting tired, so I had to take them out. So, yeah, I have contacts too. Same here. Yep. Yep. Oh, no. right after the show, I have one a day so they're crumpled up all over. Uh, he fling them out apartment. into the mm. world. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're just dried up all over the Upper East Side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped them like just dox myself. Great. Like, God. like Hansel and Gretel trying to find their way back to their home. Yes, I leave a trail of crumpled up one a days. <laughs> back <laughs> one a days. I've never had one a days. Oh my, my God, days. they're the way to go. I wear mine for way too long. I wear the two week ones, but I wear them for like two months each. Three months. <laughs> mine are supposed no. to be like monthly, and I've worn them up to like. Three months or so, and then they start getting that gritty, dry. I wear them like, as long yeah. as they can. I make them last. Yeah, I too. wear them like it's yeah. a depression. I wear them to start like it. getting wiggly on the ends. Yes, I always I figure I'm like, well, if they don't it. hurt, if yeah. I can see they don't hurt, I'm fine. Unless they're I torn can make them days for a good week, but uh, I I try not to. <laughs> Okay. I got LASIK like two years ago. <laughs> oh, was it worth it? Oh, I'm so way jealous. way worth that. it. Way worth it. Yeah. I've considered it. I'm scared of lasers in my eyeballs together. Yeah. My grandma that apart from the burning long, plush so. smell. <laughs> oh my god! You just it get over that. Like that. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, it smelled like burning flesh. It was. I thought oh, it was me, really. Though. I thought it was eyeball. me. <laughs> I don't know exactly how it works or what's making it. It was smell you. Like that. It was your but eyes you burning out. Of your <laughs> oh I think it was. God. But I was like, oh, okay, was neat. <laughs> I went Is with my just, stepmom to get hers done, and it was pretty quick. It seemed like like she couldn't. Quick. She had to wear those big glasses, yep. and she couldn't see for a little while. But yep. like she said, it was worth it, and she said it wasn't that bad. Like doing it, it really wasn't. It wasn't yeah. bad at all. Is it just like a one session thing, or do you have to go back? Uh, it was just one session for me. I think if you know, if afterwards, if the, they'll do like the eye test and everything, if they're like, oh, okay, it's it's not perfect or it's not, uh, then they'll do like revisions if you need it. But I didn't need any. Okay. <laughs> We were driving um, back down from upstate today, and uh, there was a dead deer in the road, and there was a vulture like pecking out his eyes. Oh, oh god! Oh, oh my ah. goodness! I want to see. I'm going to send it to myself, Melanie. I think oh. I have that exact same uh, light up tree that you have behind really? you. Really? In my bedroom, yeah. I is got like mine at Kirkland's. Oh, maybe it's <laughs> not the exact same, but it's similar. Is but it it's similar? In, like. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's wrapped like, with like brown tape to look like the, okay, the bark. Yeah. yeah. That's the one that I wanted to get. I ordered mine online. It wasn't brown tape though. They wrapped it in like silver, which is it's oh, still okay. kind of cool, but yeah, I kind of would prefer cool. the brown. Okay. Yeah. I like it. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's pull it up. Oh, come on. Send already. What you looking for? I'm looking for my vulture... Oh, your footage. vulture deer footage. My okay. vulture pecking out a deer's eyeball footage. Cool. It's still Ew. sending. Wow. Okay. Was this um be doing stuff for the thing? The thing? <laughs> <laughs> the thing or it's, like, it's like all of a sudden we're all exhausted. <laughs> I am. Yeah, exhausted. you look like this. Have you been outside a lot? Yeah, no, it was my niece's graduation, so uh -huh. I that was Amazing. on the I don't know during the week, and then it was a pool party. So just imagine like fifty children all in a yeah. pool. And we, oh my! We learned, unfortunately, uh, that my dog doesn't like children and will attack <gasps> them. Oh, oh no! no. Yeah, my okay. dogs don't like kids either at all. Check this out. Check this out. Okay, dogs. let's see, Chrissy. Not all of them, but. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> That's oh my spidey God. eyes. Oh, wild. That's, like a, that's like a fresh ear. This is like the opening to a horror movie. It's, a yeah. <laughs> it's like wrong turn. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. Look at that. 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 Look at
That, that, oh, that was me and Keith Olbermann earlier. Oh, no. I can't be oh, the tastiest my. part. Oh, oh you, you really pissed that old guy off, Chrissy. <laughs> I don't understand it. Look like, at the old white guy. So much better than responding to me. I, really I think he thinks you're hot. Oh. And he's like, ooh, I right. get this girl's attention. He's got a ginger fetish. I yeah. think he, isn't he gay? I don't, know. I don't know who he is. I liked Frank's tweet saying he she's he's she's not gonna fuck you though. That yeah. made me laugh. That was a good one. Yeah, and I saw some was like, like, oh, are you fucking her? And I was like, yeah, he is. There was a, <laughs> a tweet I saw that had like it was from like some furry or someone something weird like that, and they said, looks like somebody has an adult female fetish. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. Did you know that there's um nutrients Ooh. in the eyeballs? I did. That's always the first thing that they go what? for. What? Oh, oh, interesting. So it, weird. Maybe it's like a lychee for them. A lychee. Oh, like a, a lychee. lychee. Yeah. Like a lovely eyeball martini. <laughs> so people are gonna eat our eyeballs, eyeballs. if the apocalypse comes. That's ah, the thing they go for. They I'm gonna wear eyes. sunglasses. Mm. Yes. Mm -mm. No I eyeballs. Guess if you're you. dead though, you know, you don't need them. Ugh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It creeps me out. Oh, okay. Let me get. Let me blow through a couple of these. Reese Anderson is he got nice like hair. <laughs> she might be one of my distant Scottish cousins. Uh oh. Mm. Uh oh. There's only I'm one way to find out. Very much. Yeah. Ancestry.com. Let's go. Twenty three and me. <laughs> Why do they need a month? America LGBT year round. True. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Memorial Day. Vet our people that like serve this country get one yeah. day. Yeah. One yeah. whole day. Bullshit. Leo Fisher, Keanu, please pull on your glasses and say molecules. <laughs> pull them on. Hold on, hold on. Ready? Wait for it. Okay. Tell me when, darling. Okay, go. <laughs> molecules. <laughs> and at that moment, he finished. <laughs> that was amazing. Wow. I was waiting for, so good. for the I last three hours. Know. I don't know what it means, and I don't know what a molecule is, but good. <laughs> That was just what he needed to get there. Jonathan Stevie, the Biden condom thing was in the 2007 primaries. He was on stage with Obama. Wow, Sweet. that's embarrassing. That's real. It's actually real. What? Um, <gasps> yikes. That's yikes. I don't know if there's context or not, but with Are you really going to let Biden insane. out out racist Aww. joke you, Chrissy? <laughs> no, not on my watch. You gotta fake this old man, Chrissy. He is the fieriest one. Oh, I love Lila too. Aww. We love Lila. I love Lila. Lila. Every Benny. time a dog comes up, I'm like, oh, Lila. <laughs> you know, Biden's condescending advice for Black America skip to 45 seconds. Hmm. Okay, oh, boy. It. Worth a watch. It's really called that? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh -uh. Biden's There's actual um, video like that. That means someone took I'm the time. Scared. They were like, yeah. I'm putting all of this together. <laughs> they saw yeah. too much. This is reminding Black me of one of my favorite videos of all time. Oh, let me see. I wonder if I can You know when that. Biden got in his presidency, my black friend sent me a picture of the White House with like buckets of KFC outside of it and like <laughs> black people stuff and was like, is this what it looks like now? Because I was in DC and he was like, Is that what the White House looks like now? <laughs> and he was black okay so he's allowed, right. well, yeah, he's allowed. Great, um, video in the video take a look i spent last summer going through the black sections of my town holding rallies in parks trying to get black men to understand it's not unmanly to wear a condom getting women to understand they can say no getting people in the position where testing matters I got tested for AIDS. I know. Wow, this person is like so fast and sharp and quick. I know. Fucking now, now fall down and have Jill pick you up. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I wonder. Him. Let's see him fall. Yeah. I wonder yeah. if something happened to, or if he just got old, but after he got a facelift, because he clearly got a facelift, right? Like, yeah, he did. Or it's a clone. Thing. His ears are different. So he used to have, um, which more attached earlobes where it goes straight in, and now he has unattached booty earlobes. Oh, Whoa. weird! Oh, so I'm gonna have to when they pull your face back, they do it along your ears and hairline. Right. So they had to probably Fine. detach them and like sew it in. Oh, that's so weird. Or he's that's just a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> right, be a lizard. That's what I was thinking. I love it. <laughs> I said I hope they are lizards like Soros and all them because at least, you know, if we're just letting these old people run our shit like this 
and they're not lizards, I mean, I'm going to feel pretty stupid. Exactly. So, at least if they're like weird extraterrestrial lizards. <laughs> Melanie, is there a particular not as um, bad. point of that link that you want to make? No, no, just uh, from the very beginning. It's amazing. Trust okay. me. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a classic. It's classic. iconic. Okay, wow. It's amazing. Iconic. Volume up. Volume up. We have a lot of other things to cover here, but I uh, look to Dr. Sherwood. Are we uh, moving? Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden. Are you not saying anything? Not your living. Oh my God. One of the things that, that, that I strongly believe is Joe Biden. Oh my God. Wake up. Oh no, he's so loud. I should probably go home. I love when he's tired. Oh, him being like Joe Biden. Wake up. <laughs> Joe. 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 Oh, tired. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Mr. President. Wake up. Amazing! Oh wow! Iconic. Iconic. Bravo! Yes. Bravo! Person. Oh, that was great. Not <laughs> like an M Night Shyamalan film. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uh -oh. I'm so though. happy so I got to there. show that to all of you. That just made my day. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> oh, he's a weird guy, man. I just think he's very old. That guy is in charge of he everything. Is, uh... <laughs> Except his own well-being. <laughs> Guys, you know what time it is. I think the lights and the music. Yeah. What's to come? Guys, this was a fun simcast. Thank you for being there for me while I went over my my drama with Keith Silverman. Absolutely. He really is. He's a lot better than this. I feel like he's too to the level of of uh, a fight with. I don't even know who he is. He can't be that great. <laughs> He doesn't do anything anymore. Nails, Chrissy. Nails. nails. That is the <laughs> meaning of the nails emoji is being said in the sassiness, self-care. Oh, I, um, I can't pay attention. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Nails. I think I'm doing my nails. <laughs> Too busy. Looking fabulous. Too busy. Um, um, well, that's great. I'm sorry, dancing. Uh, my next show is July 8th at F. New Jersey, and I'll put them in on the same uh, Houston, August 11th. Check us out at ChrisMere.com. Chrissy, uh, you're cutting out like right. every word. We can't hear you. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'll be in Jersey July 8th at Tiff's Ale House. I'll be in Richmond, Virginia, August 9th. The website for buying tickets is down right now. I'm hopefully it'll be back up tomorrow, but they're they had a little bit of a snafu. Uh, Houston, August 11th, will be at the Secret Group. Uh, you can get tickets for that show at ChrissyMayor.com. Thanks for watching, April. Where can people find you? All right, find the Steel Tongue Morning Show on YouTube uh, Monday through Friday, six to ten a.m. Central, and then Monday through Wednesday we do an evening show from. Seven to nine central. So YouTube Steel Till Morning Show. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, <help. It's> like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> See ya. Oh, just Zealand everywhere. Zealand on Twitch. Zealand on YouTube. Zealand on OnlyFans. Zealand on Fansly. I got that too. If you don't like OnlyFans, it's uh, X I A L A N D. You can find all those places. Amazing. Leanne, wake up, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Here, wait. I was drawing a teddy bear. Aww. Really bad. 
Let's see. You can't see oh, it. it's That's cute. So cool. Very cute. Oh, um, you can just it. follow me on Twitter. It's like somewhere there. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Switch it. Leanne, Leanne Star twenty three. Yeah. Leanne Star twenty three. Twitter's better than any other thing. It sure is. On, so. Correct. Love you, Leanne. You the best. Thanks. Kiki. Hello. Keanu C. Thompson. Follow Keanu Cast. Subscribe to it, please. Keanu Cast. So much yeah, fun. Wednesdays at six, and whenever else I feel like going live. I think <laughs> I'm at t- uh, Tiffs with you, also on uh, July yes, 8th. Yes, yes. We'll be at Tiffs. Yes. Also, uh, and then I'm going to be um, wherever the hell uh, you live, April. Uh, <laughs> we'll just yes. uh, today, so Minnesota. we're doing a show there as well. Yes. yes. Can't wait. Oh, nice. I love it. Anna. Hi. I know I was only on here for like five minutes, but uh, just it's okay. <laughs> Any and moment. You will find me. Uh, also, thank you so much, everyone. My calendar passed fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. So much. Uh, I really Is that your goal? appreciate it. What? Is that your goal? My goal was ten thousand. Oh wow! Holy oh, shit! Oh, look oh, at congratulations. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, and we haven't even gone. For a week, I think. That maybe I don't know. Was it that glowing recommendation from Tony, Anna, that got you? Oh yeah. Your... Sorry, Remember what? That Tony guy on Twitter, he was like talking shit. Oh, that's the crazy guy that was uh, I'm like, why are you picking on her? Yeah, <laughs> that got so weird. That yeah, got really weird. weird. I'm like, why? Yeah, yeah. Really it's like, all right. Like, what At this point, because I found out the person that used to be a Scientologist, like, I think you're so fucking crazy. Scientologists didn't want you. I think you yeah. got kicked yeah. out. That's how crazy this person was. But <laughs> yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, thank you so much. Follow me on on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, all, all of the places. Just look up that Star Wars girl and you will find me. But thank you. Aww. Love you, Anna. Thank you. And last but not least, Yay. our carnivore queen, Melanie Mac. Mm. Uh, you guys can find me on YouTube at uh, Melanie Mac Go Boom. And then I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Melanie Mac. Yay. You guys are the shit. I love you all so much. I'm going to go blow my <laughs> nose some more. Thank you for watching Simcast. We will see you next week. Oh, who's coming up? I got some fire interviews coming up. Should I tell them, Frank? Yeah, we yes. will tell them. Yes. Hello, Franklin. Um, okay. Uh, Tuesday, I'm doing an interview with John Ziegler. Wednesday at 9, I'm interviewing Laura Loomer on my channel. What? Thursday, I'm interviewing someone named Chandler Juliet. I'm going to research more. And something else, but I didn't put it in my calendar yet. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching some cast. We will see you next time. Love you. Bye. Peace out.